Oh, Opera did an update where you can go live with them too. You didn't notice that? Yeah. Opera, you can go live on Opera. Yo, they really updating the shit out that app. All right, we live, and we on time. We not if we is late, we is, we is no no later than sixty seconds. You know what I'm saying? So, all y'all people that thought we was gonna be late, you wrong this time. You say that enough, eventually you'll be right. So the gang is with me today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo. Yeah. How y'all doing, chat? Oh, I got my do rag. Yeah, I got my... We're done. No, I'm not streaming. Um, Ghost. Uh, Ghost might be last, but I'm gonna either stream that new game, that Rogue Company, even though that shit's kind of trash. But I might do some Halo 2 multiplayer again. Yeah, shout out to Rambo. Do... He sent me something. Let me see. Yo, that game. I ain't gonna lie to you. The disrespect, yo, for ever saying that that game is comparable to Hyperscape. That game ran at like 10 frames a second. Chat, wanted to shout if everything sounds good and looks good. Guys, I, I updated my uh, Wi-Fi. Ricky got me right with the PCIe Wi-Fi adapter instead of USB, baby. We here. You know what I'm saying? I had to do some ghetto shit, though. Uh-oh, what's happening? Last week. No, I remember last, last week before we did the podcast, I went into my device manager and I disabled some of my USB ports because I didn't know if it was my power supply, but it's not my power supply. I got a 750 watt. Which is plenty. I thought I only had like 500 or something. But 750 was enough. But I start, I started disabling shit. Cause I ain't want no problems. I start. I... Yo, hold on, hold on. Oh, echo, echo. You can hear me, right? I hear you, yeah. But I heard echo. You know how many people watching us? Hold on, look at number. It's going up. It's going up. You said that three times before. I remember, and then, and then you was like, chat. It's crazy. Hey, look, chat. I scheduled the stream yesterday. We scheduled it yesterday. So I'm gonna wait. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna chill for about five minutes and y'all know. <laughs> if we don't get a if if YouTube wants to out these, we will restart the stream and start another one. Oh no, we good, we good, we good. I see it. What what you see? I see three hundred. Yeah, but it's still going up at least. I think the scheduling beforehand is pretty good too, because you still get the alert. Shit ass, bro. Where y'all at? Oh, now it's, yo, yo, but now it's ass, right? Yo, you see when I say shit, something bro. first. <laughs> you pointed that shit out, bro. What the fuck? Lost, thank you, Lost. I appreciate you. Thank you. you got the notice. What's up, Ed? I, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You know? We're gonna wait. We're gonna nah nah, I think they'll be coming in. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> All right, please, man. Man, you say, you know. Know. I'm making an announcement real quick. So chat tomorrow, July twenty third. I'm gonna be going live at eleven AM. Try to get the guys, even the prof can get on, it'll be great. Um yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that last event that Xbox had was trash, that last event that Sony had was ass, and that last event Ubisoft was ass. So Microsoft is actually gonna host their second event, which they're going to be showing big games they stated, as well as Halo, starts at 12 p.m. Eastern. So I'm looking f um, forward for that. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, we're talking about there's a secret game they're not, they're, they're talking about showing. I'm predicting it might be, uh, what's the game that got canceled, y'all? If it's Scalebound, I'm gonna lose my I got shit. I they might throw Scalebound in there. I'm gonna lose my shit. What's up? What's I heard, up? Yo, Thank I you, heard, you, know, I Thank you, you know, I don't really pay attention, so if I hear some shit, Random, I heard something about Fable coming back too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. Uh, yeah, Fable as well. Um, uh, I need. I, I would. I would love to have prophecy in that tomorrow because I remember when uh, Scalebound was canceled. Yeah, yo, that shit. Bro, he was all it. salty as fuck. I, I felt like that was no, a PlayStation that exclusive that got canceled, bro. Yeah, he was like, he was like, like bro. <laughs> like, let's be honest, bro. We've been gaming for like a couple decades or more, man. Like. I know general, not every time, right? But generally, like you know, you know when something gonna be heat when you see it. A lot of the time, sometimes it's, you got sleepers, but I knew that game was gonna be a, a great game. So I was really salty about that shit, bro. Nah, I was, I was really hurt, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro. I felt like we first, knew that was going. First, happen, I was bro. hurt. I'm gonna be real. First, I was hurt when they said Xbox exclusive. Then I was hurt when they said can't like <laughs> they said cancel it, bro. Cause like. I was excited. Like, that was the type of game I was looking forward to playing on PC. Like, exactly. Like, that thing, I, like, I, we was already just envisioning the fun that we was already having. Like, we didn't have it in our hands yet, because that shit was wild. Uh, happy early birthday, James. 
know what I'm saying? Again, happy early birthday, man. The day that that shit was up, uh, canceled, it was like ass for just games. Cause you remember how they showcased Final Fantasy 15? The dude fucked up in the mission. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I they down there had me playing the demo. I be fucking up on these games. That dude died on the demo. Was he playing it? Was that a live demo? Yeah, you know, it was, but it, it, I don't know if it was fake though because it skipped a part of the game. Remember, it like skipped it. He lost. Man, I have and that game. To him, to him actually, like, not dying. I have that game on two platforms. Bro, that's wild, son. I ain't never seen a nigga demonstrate the game and die. That's I've crazy. never seen that. Never. That was a first. That was a first, bro. Like, that nigga had to be nervous or he, I don't know, but that, that was definitely a first, bro. What's up, uh, uh, Tyler? I'm, uh, we're going to talk about Ghost of Tsushima a little bit later on. That's going to probably, you know, we're going to have a nice little discussion about that. You going to be 19, James? Shout out to James, man. Yeah, no, hey, Rambo. I was just talking about you, bro. Thanks for sending me that. I'm going to check out that game. I ain't going to lie. What's this, yo? What's what? Now, why the hell you make my, my, why you make my webcam so damn big, bro? It's not what you mean. I'm sick oh, of you. That's why. That's I'm why it's like of, that. I'm sick of you. That's why it's like I, I can't no fix it. I yes, can't you can. Yes, you can. I can't fix it, man. Yes, you could. I'm sorry, bro. Bro, you're always chilling in the background all hand. Yo, dude, fix me. I can't fix you. You know what it is? Dude, the next time we come in Discord pre show, I'm going to have to make the, um, the, the video thing longer on Discord. No, look, that's you're stretched all, that's out. Good. You're stretched dude, out from always, Discord, bro. Dude, click on my face a couple of times until I'm green on the box and just make me small. Just do it. I don't want to make you small. Come on, bro. I don't want to be this fucking big. I'm already low, have low self esteem. I feel fatter than usual on your damn Discord. Please make me little. Thanks. Make me small. Make you little, man. All right, here. You want me to do this? I could do this for you. This is the best I could do, bro. He's gonna fuck me over this there. Oh, what do you want me to do? Yo, do your fucking job, man. I'm trying, right, man. Um, I wonder if we should start. What's up, Matt? How you doing, bro? Uh, matter of fact, before we start, like, there, was a, there was a lot of members because I started the stream yesterday. Well, I scheduled it yesterday. So real quick, Gym Class, Dominique, Trey 10K, Master Show Nuff, Heavy Hero, Crow Coles, Jonathan Jones, Biggie. Hey, what's, what's up, Biggie? Again? This is Herb. What the fuck was that? Uh, Shay Keys. Yeah, I just heard that too. You heard that? Um, yeah. Shout out to all you guys for either joining or re-upping your channel memberships. Thank you. If y'all want, if y'all want emotes, they only a dollar. That's the, that's the cheapest YouTube will let me do. So if y'all wonder how people got emotes, that's how, bro. Shout out to the big homie Reborn. He always donate, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Will your bill stink, bro? Thank you. Sonic right. Fighter. Wow. Every time, bro. Ash said five dollars for us to split. Thank you. Snake Doctor with a big five pound donation. I didn't even realize Ghost was made by Sucker Punch till Kev said it. Yeah. So that's always good when, when you when you play a game from a company and you've played their other games, but then you don't even realize that they made something you're playing. That goes that like I, I we can't say that for every company. Like I you know, like I I like Ubisoft games, but a lot of times I, I know when I'm <laughs> like I, I know when I'm playing a game. I feel the same about Rockstar. I, yeah, I, I know they, yeah. they all kind of feel the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's that. Um, you know what? We got like some lighter news. We can start the show off. So, uh, Prophecy, do you want to say anything to them before we start? Uh, what's popping? Brand new whip just hopping. You know, got options. I can pass that bitch like stop. <laughs> just Josh. <laughs> yeah, I like the original better than the remix. By the way. Hey, I'm gonna yeah, be yeah. real. Like yeah, this ain't got shit to do. This ain't got shit to do with gaming at all. But can we say that 2020 is the most wild year in the history of living, of For us living? Of yeah. Because the fact that Tory Lanez out here shooting, allegedly shooting, made the style is crazy to me, bro. Like <laughs> that shit is crazy to it's me. It's a weird year. And you know what? I'm going to say it. I don't, I don't want to get too deep into it because we usually don't do this. The only time they got us, they, the only time they got me to get political was with the um, the the George Floyd shit. We went crazy for like two hours, you know what I'm saying? If y'all miss that, that's yeah. tough. We went, we went. That's the only time. But I'm gonna just say this though, the thing that would truly finish off 2020, being the wildest year ever, is if y'all man get reelected, bro. 
With all the yeah. shit that's going nah, on. Nah, it like, can't get any worse with what Kanye did. You we're not said? even, man, that dude's on drugs. We're not even listening to that guy. <laughs> that, that, that man's like, on drugs. I, I, I mean, but like, like, really. Yeah, yeah, but like, I mean, I know we shouldn't dead? expect certain shit, right? I, that doesn't mean that we okay with it. But like, Kanye is a drunk uncle at this point, bro. Yeah, but like the way this year is going, bro. Like, like let's let's just do like a, a a mini recap of everything that happened. Kobe passing. He first quarter we lose Kobe. First quarter, we lose Kobe. Like the same week, the government was like, "Oh yeah, we've been to about aliens," and then showed footage. <laughs> Niggas glossed over that. We didn't even care about that shit. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Niggas was forced to stay high. Duh. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's been so much. At this point, Godzilla can come up and I'd be like, that sound about right. Like, they could bring back dinosaurs and I feel like that would just fit right on, right on cue. Bro, I, that, I don't even know if I told you. Did I tell you my sister got COVID? No, nah, you didn't tell me. I remember you just told me that last week. I was yeah, like, what uh, the she got, she, My sister got COVID. Um, today's the 22nd, so maybe, maybe a few days after Father's Day, and it was crazy, because look, so the, the COVID shit started, um, at the end of last year, but it ain't really get, it ain't really reached the U.S. and become a problem until, like, March, right, but the thing is, I hadn't really seen, I hadn't seen my sister, I hadn't seen my mom, and then COVID hit. So I didn't see those. I didn't see them because I was really just like staying away from everybody but my girl and shit. So uh, I finally seen my mom for the first time in months in, in June, right? And then I seen my sister in June. So we hanging. My sister was fucking over here. Like she was at the house. And then um, a couple days later, she like, I don't feel good. I can't taste or smell nothing. She said... She said she was cool the night before, and then she she went to eat, couldn't taste nothing. She said she went to uh, she tried apple cider vinegar because you know that shit's strong as fuck. She said she couldn't taste it at all, so uh, she wasn't had she didn't get a fever or nothing, but like she had other friends that had caught it from out of town. They they was like lived in Philly and shit, so she like, can you take me to my um to my to my uh my testing thing? So I took her, and then uh, a couple days later she had sent me a text with her results like yeah i got it so she's good though um she's she's recovering well but uh shit is real though you know i think a lot of people had that shit like november ish yeah like because that's when a lot of people i tend to see was getting hella sick for no and like they were just what was they died they wasn't diagnosing it as cold they were just calling it the flu just the flu if, yeah, if they, they were was, saying the flu, but then there was something else too. Yeah, it was some like people, respiratory right. infections or something like right. that, or they were saying like sinus problems because like it fits all those type of. It has the same symptoms as a lot of those things. So yeah. like, I, I do feel like that shit's been around for a while. Well, they it was around. And, and, yeah, and man, they around didn't. You. Oh yeah, hold on. Like I just thought about. It. We also not gonna gloss over the fact that they just found the black plague. And fucking uh, what's that shit? The Black Plague and uh, what's the other one? There's another one like that was deadly as shit back then. I'm like, bro, we out here getting biblical diseases now. Like that shit is wild, bro. Yeah. So they found that um, shit in Colorado <laughs> like yeah. two weeks ago. Oh, we said we, we I, a little over halfway through the year. Go ahead, Ricky. My bad. I do want to say, yo, I'm glad you know your sister's doing fine, man. That's yeah, she's good. She's fine. And I want to just. No, no. And what else? What else? No, no. I'm saying she's. It's she's. She's probably a couple weeks out. It's. I mean, because COVID has a long recovery for some people. Um, she's okay. been to the doctor and, and all that stuff. You know, within the last couple weeks. So she she's active and everything. She's just she's quarantined. So she's good. All right, and I, and like again, God bless her for that because I heard I see my boy was in had pneumonia everything. So I want to just say aside from that because I don't want to include this statement in there. I just want to say I'm so happy that your sister has recovered from that. And I'm also just want to say, because I'm a toxic guy, I'm also so happy that Agent called out Pretty Boy Fredo for his fake ass Kobe claims. I have never been so happy in my life to say, Fredo, you suck a lot of And um, because of that, I'm so glad you cannot cancel Agent 
Um, I am a toxic person when I say I cannot stand Fredo. I don't care about fake pranks. What I care about is when we get, well, right now, because I stream on Twitch is different, but when we get affected with ads because you do something like crowd up a bunch of people in New York with COVID situations, you got all these kids running outside looking crazy. You know, I don't care about that. It's the, it's the fact that I'm going through my mental battles because I'm at home because your boy fears going outside. And when I think that New York is doing an ounce good, I got to see pretty boy bitch, you know, be maybe by Central wow. Park or something like that. I'm just saying, like, if how and then he lies and said that, you know, agent caused a threat to his daughter. That never actually happened. And then he had to put out an apology video like all the other big YouTubers do. I got to say, kiss my ass. You can't kid you can't cancel agent for that. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yo. I'm really sick of that shit, man. Listen. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but talk that shit, nigga. Oh, oh no, you man. I, just... I didn't I didn't even know you was about to do that. Yeah, that's but I wanted to make sure it's separate from, you know, your family situation because I wouldn't want to kinda shit wasn't say, yo, cause you, but, cause but you, you know what time is the thing though, because people motherfuckers gonna be snitching this shit. I'll tell you right like, now. Yo, listen. The bottom, if y'all ever see any of us anybody anybody on here say something if it's because people like to snitch don't say what well, they said that was him no no, no i, I said didn't it, say but keep it yeah, look chase uploaded 29 episodes of like last of us within like what he did 29 episodes in a day imagine that's his bread and butter right now right but because of situations like that where you become insensitive in the way you can negatively impact people and how it can affect what agent said that's the only time it should bother you. I don't care about fake pranks. It's when you use a situation. That's like using Kobe's death for views. Well, people somebody, done that. Oh, I mean, yeah, people, yeah. there's yeah. fake yo, mediums. Like, yeah, like, yo, like my video, if you miss Kobe, like, yo. Like, shit like that, I'm like, damn, yo, you, you, you for me, a little bit, like, you're a little bit insensitive. You're a little sick in the head for shit like that. But in the magnitude of this, where I'm like, damn, if guys like a chase is, is cooking right now with his walkthrough videos, you know, that's his shit right here. That's his business. That's how he grows. That's how he's already figured out his act. Remember, it's not just making videos for a content creator. You're figuring out now how else you have to promote yourself. They may be a change in the algorithm. That shit changes every couple of weeks. We don't even be knowing what's going on for them to hit us with something because of an act like that. Yeah, like that's where it becomes a problem. And then all of a sudden they look into my videos and I see like 20 videos when I wake up the next morning and get blocked because some new bot just got brought into, you know, the mix and shit. That's where I just start getting affected by it. I don't care what people do, fake pranks and all like that, but don't be faking like you got the Rona out here and you start this whole big thing. Cause then when all of it, like just like the Jake Paul shit with Japan, you start fucking up our ad revenue. Well, that, that was, no, that was way worse. That was way, no, that was way worse, but that also affected Apocalypse. Oh and no, we you know, here. we've had two. We've had two apocalypse. Had two. I'd rather not have that, that type of shit happening. But I'm gonna tell y'all, motherfuckers, sending people shit. <clears throat> Shout out to the uh, GI, them as the homies. First of all, I remember they tried to, they tried to snitch. I was Logan Paul, yeah. No, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about people snitching because uh, you know TBH, just the homie, like he be trolling the shit. He was talking about, uh, he, you know, uh, he was trying to set something up or whatever. But like he was joking around like he do, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know how he, I know how they do. I'll be tripping. Motherfuckers gonna send me the video like, ooh, he talking shit. I'm like, man, y'all motherfuckers is weird oh, with the yeah, shit, yeah, man. Yeah. And we talk to the guy. I talk and, to these dudes almost every week, bro, on a regular. Like, it was never like that, bro. When I got that message too, they're like, yo, he called you out. I said, huh? Man. And I looked at the video. I'm like, yo, this ain't. This is like the right, the most normal, most regular shit I've ever heard. Like, and, dude, y'all would really try to spin some shit. You know, I, you know, I, I ain't trying to sidebar, but uh, uh, Fredo, he, he did an apology video, man. It's not, it's just not, it's not safe to, to have rallies and shit. And was that before or after he said he had corona? It was he deleted the coronavirus video. Was that before um, or after the rally he had? Uh, he apologized after, of course. No, I'm saying, did he, did he say, did he have the coronavirus video? Oh, no, he said he had coronavirus and, and then, then he did the rally and then video. He did the rally. I mean, yeah, but at some point though, if I like, if somebody says, "Yo, I have this this thing," I'm not going to go and meet with them, like me. Like, I'm not going to meet with them. You know, that's just not that's not it. Um, and that was crazy because I did see LD LD two K LD does not do this. LD two K had sent a tweet to Fredo and was like, you know, my sister's on the front lines and 
front lines and, and, and all, you know, all kind of stuff. So, anyway, um, standing at my eye, nothing surprises me. Uh, uh, people bring up fake pranks, but fake pranks have been a thing on YouTube since, like, Yeah, I'm not worried about fake pranks. I'm not you saying you. I'm friends. saying people, like, of course. Like, we, we make content. Like, I know a fake prank when I see one. These kids are entertained by it, so I'm going to let them be entertained by the shit. I know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? But uh, there's plenty of... Bro, what was the first fake... Yo, you know what hurt me? When I found out the Leroy Jenkins shit was fake, bro. I ain't found out until like two years. Did y'all know that? Nah, I found out like a few years ago. That shit hurt, bro. Look. So basically, they said that that actually happened, but nobody was recording. So they reenacted this shit. And I was devastated dog that was like vintage youtube when i first seen that yeah. like 2008 or 9 and that that was a reenactment bro i might have ruined some of y'all's childhood look at look at what you just did look at yeah, that right <laughs> i'm sorry fofties but yeah leroy jenkins is a reenactment man so it's, it's i mean it's not exactly fake but they had to re they had to redo it because nobody was recording Tough. I'm sorry. Now you're gonna think I'm uh can I be honest with you? You about to hear me say it. Let me zoom in. Let me get a little let me make you bigger. Let me make you big and blurry. No question no no questions a stupid question, right? No, nah, you're all that's a lie. Go ahead though. That is a what's, lie. What's what's Leroy Jen Leroy Jenkins? Are you What's that's, that? That's, that's Maybe I know it and I just don't remember it. was playing, they was playing, what was it? Was that World of Warcraft? Oh, uh, uh. They were playing World of Warcraft, right? So they all outside before they go to the next section, they strategize and like we would do. Like, yo, you going to do this, boom. And he's like, they they like they really strategize for like four minutes. And dude's like, give me Abdul, give me a quick number crunch here. He's like, yo, I'm getting 33.3 repeating chance of survival and all that. So they strategizing. They saying what each person's role is going to be. Because it's, you know what I mean? And the dude, Leroy, just runs in. And he screams Leroy Jenkins and then everybody gets killed. And then they're, they're telling him he's stupid <laughs> oh, and all this. Oh, no. I do remember yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I do. Okay. I got you. I'm looking hey, at shut it. Shut up, Tor. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this. Not this, no, not, my really. set, yo, by the way, the, the, the setups in on YouTube, the standards have gotten raised so high that I ain't going to let y'all into my, I got fucking clothes baskets behind my green screen and shit. Ain't going to be no, ain't gonna be no setup tour. Anytime, <laughs> I got bins, I got bins with laptops just sitting in it and shit. I ain't, I, it ain't going to happen, brother. Not right now. Maybe if I move, maybe when I move. Hey yo, uh, another announcement. Yo, yeah. my nigga Cole, my nigga Cole dropped two songs tonight. Man. Two main Cole. Yeah, link Cole them. World. Link them. We'll listen to those later. Tonight, Jermaine. Um, <laughs> All right, <laughs> Cole. Let me roll with you. Yeah. yeah. You pulled an Xbox just now. What you mean? If I can recall, when did you move to this house? Twenty sixteen. Four years ago. Twenty sixteen. I remember when, you know, you moved, you said, hey, guys, you know, I'm going to move. And once I get my things situated, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to come, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, gonna come <laughs> through, first of all. He even, he even buttered me up and said, yeah, you know. Yeah, facts. Y'all want to come through? Room, <laughs> got the bathroom with the towels in the water. I, I felt really I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop you there. I got to say one thing because, in your defense. Because when Barry came. And visited by that you were supposed to come and you could not come so don't get on here and then try to embarrass me in front of these people watching that's what i was about to defend barry did come over and i didn't like the fact that he kept flexing little photos that he met chase and i'm just like yo how the hell you, you you was able to see chase like how you went over chase's crib before like the homies so i said i bet then chase is like you know, he got a little Funko Pops. He got a little, he collects video game cases now and shit. He buys the, full, I'm gonna show y'all my setup. My guy's looking to move again and we still have not seen his setup. You Microsoft right, so me, so look, when you, 
when you're in high school and you messing with a girl and then y'all, you know what I'm saying? Together, See, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not the pair of Yeah, did you just, yeah, no, I'm not gonna let you try to do that, bro. I'm not gonna let you try to do that, bro. I'm not gonna let you try to do that, bro. That's not happening. That's not happening, brother. And I know Pop is there when we was all talking together when he did his whole move and everything. You're not about to hit me with that where babies come from, dog. Yeah, yo. What? Bro, that nigga, this nigga, nah, bro. I know what you're trying to do. I had to go for the low hanging fruit, bro. Yeah. This nigga just tried it, son. Yo, chat, this nigga tried it, beat. I had to go for the low hanging fruit, bro. Yo, I remember arguing with somebody the other day. Got at them exactly where they fucked up. They try to bring up something I did three years ago. Like, two years ago? Right, I said, all right. Yeah, yo. but like, but when you was middle school, though, remember that time? I'm like, wow, that's where we going? Because you ain't got nothing on me up to date, right? See where we at. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I think, I think <laughs> we got enough people in here to get the show right, man. This is GMG episode 218. Uh, it's not gonna be a super long show. I say that all the time. And then, Lone, you know, our long winded asses, we be up in this motherfucker three hours yeah, I'm gonna shit. be real I'm going to sleep in about 30 minutes oh bet all right <laughs> <laughs> um first and foremost real quick I don't know how many Samurai Jack fans are in here I showed a trailer for the new Samurai Jack game a couple months ago the game now oh, has wow. an official release date of August 21st it'll be forty dollars it's going to be on every platform uh from you know PlayStation to the Switch Oh, I lied. It's not going to be on Google Stadia, but who has that? Um, and it's going to be on the Steam and Epic Store. If you have a preference on the PC, out of those two marketplaces, there you go. Bow. So, thoughts? Anything? Anybody wants anything? Hmm? Bring uh, more. Bring more Adult Swim games, man. That's a that's a great fucking. Uh, I always wanted the Boondocks game, bro. Like, oh, that would be hey, amazing, bro. If they it's impossible, it. I feel like now. Because you got a park style. Just because, I well, that. I meant like, uh, I meant like samurai like style, like you know how like they be doing the samurai fighting scenes. I, I think that shit would have been cool, but because of John Witherspoon, I don't, I don't, I don't think I really rock with it like that. Um, oh, that, well, I don't know, man. They, well, they J, they played JD. Um, he he auditioned and stuff was. Did you see it? I just watched that video. Yeah, I watched it a couple today. days ago. So um, yeah. I don't know what that was about, but he, he, I mean, he could, he does, he does sound like his dad. He, um, no, he most definitely So does. I don't know who else, I don't know who they got, but if they, if they say. Yo, everybody said they thinking it's, uh, what's the nigga from Vaughn? Yeah, but that backflip though. Um, King Batch? King Batch. That's who they thinking it is. Really? Ugh. You know, I don't find them funny for shit. Nah. He I like not. King Batch. I, I, I don't uh, think he's I hilarious, think he's cool, but he's not he, funny he, at all. Yeah, he all right. Dang, tough crowd. I don't, even, I don't even find what's the other dude who put like a U or a Wu, the, the like a tattoo in, his, in between his eyebrows. He used to be real funny. He was on Wildin' Out. Oh, uh, DC? Nah, DC's DC funny. You don't think DC's yeah, funny? I used to laugh. At, I used to laugh a lot. Maybe because I, I I started looking into his personal life more. Like he started, you know, started doing videos and content like on personal life. So I kind of lose the comedian side of you. And I start like engaging with your like serious side, I guess. I don't know. You start liking him for real for who he is and not for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. That's the issue. That happens. Yeah, DC funny though. Like to me at least. Jay Farrell? Huh. I also heard that too, actually. They said it's Jay Farrell too. Alright. Well, oh, there's some good Xbox news, guys. We it's not always easy because i feel like X, xbox news what happens is like we don't get it in like small bursts it ends up being not a lot of news but then um it's either like no no news or a lot of news when it comes to xbox i don't feel like it's like really like kind of sectioned off so um one of the things that people were concerned about was that the uh the game pass i don't know how many people remember this right and, and this is how I know people don't pay attention. They only see what they want to see. I'm sure y'all remember when Xbox wanted Game Pass to be on the Switch and on PlayStation. They wanted that service to be on both of these. Ben Decker, this is the head of gaming services, said that he wanted to see Game Pass on all platforms and it, and it was a long-term goal. So that's a quote from him. I'm not making this up, okay? Now, the thing is, 
The quote in this article also says that the other competitive platforms aren't interested in having a full Xbox experience on their hardware. But for us, we want to be where gamers want to be, and that's the path we're on. That would not surprise me at all because PlayStation initially didn't even want us to have EA access. So that would make sense to me that PlayStation decides that they said they didn't want us to have EA access because it wouldn't be a good value for gamers. That's what they said for the first few years before we actually got it. So I wonder if that's their mindset well, with Game Pass. Wait, mind you, they said that we don't feel our gamers would have right. like, like that was disrespectful like right. i don't even know how you can speak for us like that's crazy and the minute we get game pass or or ea access tons of people get it because it's i mean it's not a bad deal you get to pay five dollars to you know maybe well, to try be out fair, a game. they probably they they probably thought niggas was going to be rushing to get playstation now yeah, and <laughs> yeah it's <that's laughs> never gonna happen it's garbage it's ass as fuck they would have to do what Xbox is doing for for PlayStation now to be even worth a like a a, a discussion, bro. That shit is butt butt. Anywho, so Game Pass will not be coming to Switch and PlayStation at least not for the foreseeable future. I would have loved to see a service like yeah. that. Um, you know, PlayStation now could go as far as I'm saying, as, as far as I'm concerned. They would fucking put Game Pass on and get rid of PlayStation now. Shit was it would be, it would be monumental. Um, yeah, we need to get rid of PlayStation. Nah. Yeah, 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 I gotta, I gotta, well, y'all gotta remember too. I don't think Sony would ever ever approve because it ain't just, it ain't just Xbox exclusive games. They would, like, I think on both sides, Sony's trying to secure games that would want to have like any kind of exclusivity with with them too on their app. Like with Xbox Game Pass, you got a bunch of games like even GTA is free on there. The Witch is free on there. Metal Gear is free. Like, you got a bunch of games that just, um, I guess they did deals where they're free for Game Pass, where that may not be something Sony wants. Like, I don't know. So, I kind of knew, unless it was Sony's exclusives, I think Sony would have, I mean, um, Xbox exclusives, I think they would have done it if it was just that. But when we start walking in with, like, games that are multi plat anyways, I think Sony's looking at it like, now nah, that can possibly kind of affect us later on because then you're going to have PlayStation users who may... Cause it could be out of fear too. PlayStation users might really like the service and may not want to rock with even PlayStation Plus. They might look at it like, hey, yo, like, there's already a complaint going out now that if free to play online games, should we have to pay for PS Plus? No, you should not have to pay for PlayStation That's, Plus exactly. or Xbox That's Live big... for free to play games. No, you shouldn't. There's a big thing going on right now about that. And I, I agree. I shouldn't have to pay to play any of them fucking ass games because you know why? On PC, the shit free. It's free. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, I'm sure them having Game Pass in their eyes would hurt their PlayStation Plus, uh, you know, monthly game giveaway, whatever. Uh, we, you know, we'll, we'll see how it is. We can't forget the fact that Xbox and Sony did partner up for some um, streaming. Well, they're, Sony's using, they want to use Microsoft's streaming. I forgot what it was, but you remember that partnership that was like, I don't know, it was like nine months ago maybe maybe almost a year ago or something like that um and people are like i can't believe their partner Motherf yeah, motherfuckers is weird man you it, it, it in no way affects you if playstation and xbox partner up for some type of streaming service or if one of the other companies is using a competitor's uh whatever whatever they have available it's really stupid bro i don't understand dude i don't have a horse in the race so i, I could give a damn um you know, it's one of the the best things that I've gotten this gen. I mean, it's it's good and it's quite sad at the same time. It's crossplay. It's knowing that towards the the ending of the gen, we got crossplay. Uh, if I'm able to buy a console of that, you know, of preference, like I'm, I'm more towards PS5, and I'm able to get even Xbox games on there, you're only incentivizing me to just really make that purchase, even if the console was a hundred dollars more. Like if that console ends up being a hundred dollars more, just with all that shit together, I'm gonna buy. I don't know why people get so people are weird to me, man. I think in 2013 and 2014, 2015, I was like in that kind of shithole with like where I gave a fuck, but I don't give a shit no more, yo. If I'm able to, dude, we're already talking about how, man. I hope Ghost of Tsushima goes to PC, Bro, man. Like, put it, put it all on man, PC. Put, put that bitch on PC. Put everybody's man. exclusives on PC, cause you know what happens. 
I don't know why console people would be upset with that anyway generally some you know there's people that have um good reasons like uh when i was on ags south of dark cloud and the uh, ags um crew he had explained like his reasonings and stuff like that uh you know his 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 reasoning is more logical than a lot of people a lot of people they just want to be able to argue about exclusives so for that to end up on pc they have a problem with that the issue i have though is a lot of the times there's a discussion Right, I don't really engage on the Xbox versus PlayStation discussions. Right, a lot of people engage in those. Right, and then when they're discussing who has the better platform, but then when PC people show up, they be like, "Oh man, nobody's talking about PC. Y'all not in this." But then when their games end up on the PC, then there's a concern for them. Like they they don't consider the Switch and the PC as part of the the competition enough to have dialogue. But then when they game or somewhere, mobile for that matter. What was that? I said, or mobile for that matter. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But then, like, they act like millions of people ain't on mobile games. Bro. Like, that's that's a real thing. They yeah, act yeah. like that might mobile games very well surpass. <laughs> I, I wonder what the matter of fact. How many? Mo- oh, I can tell you what. Like the like, cause I play a lot of these anime mobile games. I can tell you they revenue is, and it's it's real Fortnite ish. Like, Yo, they 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 revenue is just crazy. You want to hear? It? Cause look. We also live in the U.S., right? Dude, China. Mm. Well, they got huge. so what they do is they do, they do global and then they do J- Japan. So mm-hmm. Japan is its own region, but global is like Korea, France. France I found the number. You ready? And all that. Ready for the number? Before you I tell it. y'all the number, Ricky, what is your prediction about how many mobile gamers there are on the planet? Just give me a number. I think over 100 million. Okay, Prof, give me a number. I'm going to say, I don't know, because that's ridiculous. <clears throat> and I know certain games got like 100 million flows, so yeah. like it will have to be over four or 500 million. Okay, chat. I'm so... really going to say a Billy, but okay. I, I don't know. I see two bill. I see a bill. 400 million, 250, 279, at least a bill. Easily a billion. All right, two bill, 370 million, 4 billion, 90 million. Yo, the number of mobile gamers in 2020 is 2.2 billion. 203 million of them are in the U.S. 56% of them play more than 10 times a week. Like, Oh, and since we're talking about that, you know, let's keep rolling on with the Xbox news. Hold so, on. Mm-hmm. I'm going to disagree with that. And the only reason why okay. is because I be in these streets. And, <laughs> <laughs> like, they count that based off of people just making accounts. And so when games come out or, like, events happen, okay. people will, like, create multiple accounts to re-roll on those games. And that's counting as another person. So you're Different saying account. it's like Google Plus where nobody actually, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously joking because a lot of people on mobile games, but you remember the whole Google what? Plus shit where Google Plus was the number three social media network in the world and nobody yeah. used that shit, but you got Google Plus automatically with your Go- with your Gmail account. And you know, you know, I have like four Gmails myself, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got a, I got a burner account so I can sign up for, uh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I got I got that and a couple other ones. I got two Gmails from my YouTube channels and just yeah, stuff it's, like it's that. like that because like like I said, like there's like I play like so example is Dragon Ball Z, right? So Dragon Ball Z got a game and it's like the five it's the five year anniversary going on right now. But they just had like 350 million downloads of the game so they count that as in people that have different accounts and they're still you know doing that so i don't know if that's really accurate but i do believe that it's it's definitely close to that yeah you said i got a nasty so actually madison <laughs> hey man i ain't gonna lie they definitely what you so, said yeah. who's that prof I said, you know that website, you know what I'm saying? The hub definitely gave out that premium, so I had to make a I have three uh hub accounts. 
I got one. Yeah, I had to. I'm not downloading any of that crap. Sure. So I go ahead and, and, and just I just click on playlists on there. <laughs> I'm not downloading. Yeah, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be real. I, I didn't realize That's how. Nasty. You know how we call people out? Like you know you got weirdos in the net. <clears throat> they utilize several emails to make accounts to just harass people. I realize I'm a different kind of fucking weird. I'm very strategic. I got emails for for, for hub videos, right? <clears throat> I got emails for business inquiries. I got emails for seamless. I got emails for YouTube. I got emails for when I pay my bills. I'm very sick in the head. I got emails for when I talk to certain people. I don't want nobody to know who I'm talking to. I got emails for fucking burner accounts because you know why? When I get certain messages, I need to know who the weirdo who's messaging me. So I'm gonna follow your ass back on my burner. And my burner, you know that's no, nah, but that's type key smart though, because you can realize who like when you get like say for instance you get somebody a specific email and they the only nigga with that, you can catch niggas up like that. That's type key slip. Yo, and she yo, and Shorty will be like Yo, I'll find you mad Q. I'll be like, I right, bet burner activated. I'll follow yeah. her. I'm trying to see what's her past history looking like. Did she commit murder? Did she do some wild shit? That's some, that's some real shit, though. I ain't going to hold you. Like, nigga yeah. said, I got my burners for my burners. You did. Yo, me, me, Chase, and Prof, we've experienced some. Right, we don't need to go in depth with this, but we've experienced being on YouTube with, the, with these two dudes. I ain't going to lie. Hey, yo, facts. Laugh, but we've experienced some real like 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 it's it's not even hard to explain it's more so like wow that shit happened like really we went through shit like that like so yeah like we ain't told y'all really like 90 percent of the bullshit we didn't came across bro like that shit yeah it had some wild shit. Yeah, we tell y'all we tell y'all <laughs> a, a lot but y'all there's some stuff i can't i told you i can't get y'all everything yeah Wait, why, shit, was why, 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 why was shay timed out uh Silver, was you, was you trying to time out somebody else, bro? What happened? I think he was trying to time out someone else because all she wrote was all right, bet. Yeah, I think he was trying to time. Can y'all untime? Can y'all untime out Shay? Uh, yeah, untime her out, and I got something to say to Silver. Yo, Silver, we're trying to get you on the show as soon as possible. Silver playing, man. We ain't seen that dude since his Ray J style rant. That shit was amazing. That was top ten GMD <laughs> moments all time. Top five, bro. <clears throat> top five I wanna shit say, was amazing. I want to say to uh, Silver that you are forever one of our brothers but you are also a prime example on why i have burner accounts i will never <laughs> use my main account to contact angela yee you know yeah this nigga you know so you're, my, you're my big bro and also five consoles later microsoft is dropping another one man i cannot believe you told me they're not dropping another console <laughs> Jay, we're sorry. We don't know how that happened. I think he, somebody said he fat fingered it. It's I've accidentally timed people out on here too, so. Um, nah, nah, Silver, Silver's really the homie. I, I want to get him and Abel back on here, man. Like all of us together Abel, again. Abel, Abel, oh, man. That Abel, man. I, I, Bro, yeah, he, he, he chilling, man. So nah, yeah, nigga, I probably send him a message so on this. Nigga, boy, nah. Maybe, maybe. I, if, if possible, I mean, I, you know, I, you know, I don't want like, to keep talking about our plans live because then if it don't happen, they're gonna be like, I can't believe y'all did this to us. Uh, maybe if we get like the the, the console gen wrap up episode, we could get get them to slide through at least for a couple minutes. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. I think um maybe after the the second PlayStation event, so that together we can get everybody's thoughts on on because now Prophecy is back as well. Just to get like everybody's kind of close because this was this was a weak ass gen i can't i can't sit here and say what games really impacted me other than the thought of fortnite just really just taking over half of the gen <laughs> hey yo <laughs> hey yo yo lands is funny yo i ain't gonna lie that's one of the funniest moments in gaming in me bro what when that man was playing pt and that shit was on world star <laughs> hey, oh, dude. i'm gonna get able back here I mean, that shit was funny. It, I mean, I, I'm just trying to get a feature, have him come on, talk about something. Hey, the guy, he's he's busy, man. He's also on Twitch. He streams at um at nighttime. So whenever I'm on Twitch late and he on, I hop in the streams a little bit when I can. But uh, I don't know. We'll see, man. You know what I'm saying? What's gonna happen though is we're not gonna tell y'all. He'll just like be on here one day, and you're gonna be fucking shocked. If that's not. It's, it's up to him if he wants to do it. He might not want to, and I will understand why he wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, let's move on. Um, 
Weakest gen, y'all wildin'. Uh, Lambo, you must be you must be under the age of 21. <sighs> this is the Whoa. weakest gen in gaming. This is the weakest gen for video games. This is, the, this is not better than Xbox 360, uh, PS3. It's not better than PS2, GameCube, OG, Xbox. It's not better than, than uh, Dreamcast, PS1, Nintendo 64. This is the worst gen in gaming. This is not even the better libraries, than the The library's era. bad. The business practices are bad. The broken games are really bad. Um, it's just, it's, it's really been a disaster. I feel that at least half of the sequels that were really good on PS3 and, and Xbox 360 were either disappointments or straight up garbage this gen. This, this, this gen, they had some, they had some, um, they had some, uh, some gems, Amazing obviously, game. but, but the library, the library on the, on this current gen is not fucking with that. What it is, is this was like the, the, the boom of battle royales and stuff and people that are really into that. Well, that has to be a reason why. There's no. He's thirty three. You said he's thirty three. This got better games than the original Xbox, but the thing is, Jay, PS two and and the original Xbox and GameCube were all out at the same time. This this shit is not fucking with PS 2s library. Not even not PS two has a goat library, bro. Not not in the least bit. The fact that the PS two that that lineup of those three. Those three, mm -mm. I can't. I can't. Yeah, that's, that's hard. That's a hard. That, that's, that's not. This is way worse than PS2. Way as far worse. as video, video games go, well, what do y'all think is the best gen? Do y'all think that's the best gen? PS2, or? GameCube, OG Xbox. For me, I really, I really like PS2, I Xbox 360. I wasn't, that was really good. I wasn't really, I wasn't really GameCube, but mine is probably. Fuck, it might be the stuff. I don't know. And then, like, we can't might, forget the 3DS 3, and all that it shit. It might be 360 to me. I mean, three, I'm not mad at that. There's a 360 and, and still ain't the PS4 gen. See? Yeah, I agree with this. I would say Midway 360 and PS3, but all the way yeah. PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. I, yeah, because like you said, Game Boy Advance was popping at that time. Yeah. The Game Hell, Boy Advance handheld Advance. era was killing it. Bro. I, I wholeheartedly believe that Xbox 360 is better than Xbox One and PS3 is better than PS4. And I'm talking about in terms of the quality of games. Now, obviously, the technology and all that stuff's new. So that goes without saying, right? Like, somebody's like, how could you say that? The graphic, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about purely the, 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 the value of the library that was available to us. And then the business practices, dog. We This gen, we got completely ripped off. Companies that were fantastic last gen, don't look so hot this time around stuff like that um let's uh let's move on though uh some more hey, yo, she ain't lying she said those burger king jones was fire hey, yo, them oh, yo, fire. Was coming. <laughs> yeah the psp coming was fire the psv was buns he said it, name five games from your from 360 in your top 10 of all time but you mentioned 360 we mentioned i said mentioned, I, I mentioned all the all the consoles available for that that gen though not yeah yeah like you can't that's not a fair question you bugging the fuck out bro it's it's all three, it's it's all three consoles versus all three consoles. So it was Wii U, PS3, Xbox 360 versus Switch, PS4, Xbox One. So all that Wait, encompasses all. Wii U did the Wii come out in that gen? I'm sorry, Wii. Yeah, I'm about Wii was fucking shit up the, too. I'm sorry, yeah. the Wii, the Wii U. Well, the Wii, Wii U, U technically did come out too at the end. Yeah, it did. Like, it did. The but the Wii, the Wii was more with the um the the. I felt that that was more with it. First of all, it's, it outsold the PS3 and Xbox 360. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Switch or Wii? Oof, I can't. I ain't touching that. I ain't a Nintendo dude like that. Yeah, I'm I, gonna I, I, out I, I, I'm gonna Wii. I'm gonna Wii. Wii out of I'm, I'm a Nintendo Wii. dude, but I listen. I'm gonna give it to the Wii just because them niggas got Wii, bro. The we the we is <laughs> the we the we had Netflix, Netflix bro. Day. Switch ain't Switch ain't got Netflix. Dude, the Wii's a console too. Like, I mean, we got three GTA games on PS2. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's we got zero GTAs on PS4. Anyhow, um, yeah, let's move on. That we ain't got no GTAs on PS4 and it's Xbox. It's ridiculous. Xbox One. Uh, uh, um, Microsoft is not currently selling 12 month xbox live gold memberships people are speculating that it is hinting at a bigger focus on game pass and that it's it's so i guess a way for them to tie in the 12 month pass with game pass or 12 month xbox live membership with game pass um you can still get the three and one month plans 
we don't really know what's going on nobody really knows uh so i seen some people saying that it's possible that the um the online would be free i i don't think they would do that that's leaving a lot of money on the table truth be told the uh companies sony microsoft nintendo they don't make a lot of money from the hardware a lot of money comes from subscriptions and software for them to take you know a subscription service off that's making them a i'm lot gonna of be money. real bro okay i think if anyone were to do it it would be microsoft but, I think I that they, they would be the first to do it. So they have more money than them, it. so they could do it. If they right. Take. Well, Prof, I'll piggyback off of Prof, and I'll say I think their online services is going to be combined with Game Pass. I think they want to add an all-in-one service. You got, uh, what's that? What's, Origin has <clears throat> EA Access pr Premium. I yeah. think they want they want to release a possible $15 a month or something with Game Pass, which also includes Xbox Live and everything together. Xbox, they kinda, they do have a couple, like probably like three, four subscription services. I think they're gonna actually bring it all together, which is actually well, a that would good be thing. Great. That's, what, that's what we wanted from PlayStation, which they they're gonna PlayStation do now. That would be genius for my club today. They charge $35 or $40 a year. That would be amazing for a year subscription or both. That would be amazing. Game oh, Pass people. Ultimate does that chat? I see. I don't know that. I don't really. Yeah, I oh. have Game Pass Ultimate, but I, yeah, I should have known that. Oh, uh, wait, it comes, it comes alive. Yeah, I have Game Pass Ultimate. Oh. It, it, you get you get all you get all the Game Pass stuff on the PC and on the Xbox, um, and and you get a year and you get um, Xbox Live included with that. So I don't really, I don't really know why they would do that. I, I just I don't see them. Making online free, that's just not. I, oh, I, I, you know why else I think so? Only because on PC, the Microsoft Store online is free. And I think if they integrate something with the Microsoft Store on PC versus console, I think they can probably do something else with Game Pass and maybe other services that they could probably introduce. But um, I think Prof is right. I see Microsoft going free with that before playstation and i think um that whole idea that now like for example you could play xbox games on steam you can purchase them on steam and it allows you to open up your xbox app way easier than, than microsoft store i i do know I, I think i do believe they might do some shit like that, that would be fucking we'll, we'll find out tomorrow guys there's an xbox event tomorrow at 12 <laughs> eastern there's a um there's I th how long is, is it a two-hour event it's a it's a couple hours i believe I think we're gonna see some some stuff we're not expecting to see. Uh, you know, we're all, we're just speculating, guys. We don't really know. You know I don't, this is this is part of the reason why you don't see me on Twitter posting stuff. Generally, that's not confirmed because I don't want to. You know, I don't want to give people information like that. At least at least what for on a podcast, I could. You know, I could convey that it's speculation and all that type of stuff. Uh, but again, we'll find out tomorrow. The other thing to consider. Is maybe they do want to just do away with the the annual just uh, Xbox Live and and get people to spend more money because if they do the, the the Game Pass annual with Xbox Live, they can charge you more than the fifty or sixty that it is annually, and then uh, Xbox for one month or three months is more expensive over the course of a year too. So maybe they're doing away with that, or maybe they're repricing it. We don't really know what's going on, but I do know that they're going to have X Cloud support as part of the Game Pass experience for free. So you will be able to play at least 100 of the games on Game Pass on your phones and tablets for no extra cost. So that actually starts this September. Phil Spencer <laughs> announced this. Uh, and one of the games that will be included to be playable on the xCloud is Halo Infinite, which is really good. Now, the only streaming services that we know of, I'm not saying whether they're good or not, are Google Garbage and um, hmm. the, the, the... I was like, wait, that's what it's called? Like, yeah, like, no, Google no, Wall, no, no, the, the GeForce Now, I believe, which is, it's better than Stadia in every way. The only thing that is a drawback is some of the companies are pulling their games off, but it's still a nice size library basically you can put your games in the cloud and just play them on weaker devices such as your phones 
if you have laptops that you take to travel you can play those on their cloud you don't have to buy anything else the games you already own are playable on that service so that's better than stadia so far so maybe x cloud will really push the envelope and be a better streaming service the google <clears throat> paying for online is ghetto <laughs> We conditioned to pay for shit we shouldn't really be paying for. And PC people so damn smug, and I can say that because I'm on PC, you know what I'm saying? That they don't think it could happen to them. <laughs> PC people don't think that, you know, a, a Xbox um, online membership or, or, you know, if PlayStation gets a client on PC, which they probably will, that they might not make you have a pre-existing online subscription service it can happen and when that day comes i want to see how pc people react but one thing i'll give pc people credit for these motherfuckers they really be rising up they be getting games the fuck out of there they don't i'm telling you don't stop they'll, they'll get all your games from key sites they, they'll do a lot to to make sure you don't do that shit again so we'll see how that happens um so let me get rid of that real quick uh, a couple donos came through. Um, did y'all want to say anything about the X-Cloud shit? Fuck that shit. I don't know. Okay, keep going. It's free. What, what about Gaikai and the, the power of fucking 15,000 Xboxes? Bro, they, they not. Yeah, you got to let Xbox live. Dog. They, that shit was seven years ago. <laughs> you, and Gaikai <laughs> was Sony. They're the ones yeah, that bought was definitely yeah. Sony. They bought Gaikai for, yeah. for PlayStation garbage. Yeah, where's that at? <laughs> That's just where it should be, not being used. That's and what about these 15 million fucking Xbox 360s in a vault that helps crack down, break particles like fucking amazing? A fucking game is garbage. I want to hear about X Cloud. I want to see games. Keep going. Okay. Chronic. Hey. Are you guys going to play the new Outlast when it comes out? Hell yeah! Thanks for the donation. I don't know if it's multiplayer, but it looks like a. Uh, uh, co -op. Cop, no cap. It's co-op multiplayer. So we, we yeah. yeah, I might do. I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Da Vinci, bro. Welcome, uh, welcome back, Cuzzy Derek. Thank you, Cam. How's it going? I finally joined the PC Master Race. Oh yeah, shout out to Cam. Welcome, man. We received you with open arms. I just hope that in the next seven days you buy a game, and you get excited to play, and you load the game, and that shit don't work. Your computer freeze, and then you gotta open up. I and I files and install new codex and hang out on the community hub or on Steam to figure out what the fuck is going on. Until that happens, you ain't officially PC made. You ain't PC made until a game just don't fucking work on your shit. Ricky, what game don't work on your PC? Um, Call of Duty 4. I need Punk Buster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to go in on my on my own. Um, found out that the Microsoft Store would, wouldn't download my games unless I clear out all the fo files in the Windows app folder, you know? Probably. Which shit don't work on yours? Uh, mine's was Mortal Kombat, but I think that shit would work with nobody that shit at, work at for one nobody point. For four days. I remember that. <laughs> MK9, yeah. I think, or maybe it was 10. For me, it's, it's Prototype 2. There is nothing that I could possibly do to my computer to make that game work. The game works, but what happens is you get into a mission and y'all know how the games are. You like, they'll say, hey, you defeat these enemies and then you do it and it's supposed to trigger the next part. Like an NPC is supposed to come out. That guy never comes out. The fix for that is so it's supposed to be me opening up the task manager, going down to set affinity and turning off some of my processors for that. I'm not doing that ghetto ass shit. But yo, know, I had my other one that actually because Mortal Kombat eventually worked. Mine was Bioshock One. <clears throat> For some reason, every time you know the very beginning, where you gotta swim and then you get to the uh, yep. in the building, go down the elevator and stuff like that. Whenever I got down to the elevator and he started talking, this shit would just bring me back up to the top of the elevator over and over and over again, <laughs> and I. Looked everything up. I could find nothing, so I ended up buying the collector's edition. That, that's no, he, no. He said that? I should play. He said I should play Ninja Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit is nutty. P 
PC Steam Steam is a fucked up platform. They'll have like a HD collection, right? And, and none of the games will work. <laughs> like Bioshock had the HD collection, and if you go to the Steam forums, you'll see a bunch of red thumbs down. People telling you not to buy it because it continuously crashes. Throughout my that walkthrough, cool. it crashed so many times. That big store, none of the Lego games, all of them were free. No, they won't work. They don't work. They don't work on Steam for me either. Only Harry Potter. Yo, I just want to say the cool Jags, man. He said Microsoft got to really prove themselves because Sony set the bar. Did you forget their last event was ass, yo? They showed three good games, and then they, everything else was just a bunch of bullshit. But then he said, don't get your hopes up for tomorrow. I bet you Microsoft's. I'm about to say something. I'm about this is about to be a hot take. Y'all ready? I could be wrong, right? So feel free to let me know how wrong I am next week because you're going to do it anyway. I know how people operate. I think Xbox is going to have a presentation better? that is better than PlayStation. I think this is going to um, burn PlayStation's previous event. That's not to say that PlayStation can't do anything great for August 6th for their next event. That was a leak, by the way. At August 6th, they have like another event coming. But um, for that previous one, they showed a lot of games and there was a lot of games that made you sleep. Not sleepers, there was a lot of games that made you sleepy. But um, I think Microsoft is gonna come back with some shit. I think I got a feeling, bro. I just have a feeling. I mean, it's possible. PlayStation's event wasn't that good. So if Xbox shows a, a bunch of good games, announces their pre-order or the, the price of the console, Shows the new, like the Game Pass X Cloud direction, brings back exclusives that got canceled. It's going to be heat, in my opinion, but that's just me. I mean, I always want companies to put their best foot forward anyway. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll say as much. It's nothing to us. Some people have a hard time saying, "Yo, I was wrong." I'll say that shit. Facts. Yeah, it's nothing. I'm gonna say it before you can say it. Yeah, like <laughs> I was wrong. Bad, if I'm wrong is fine. <laughs> 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 shit, bro. It be like that sometimes. Um, oh, more Xbox news, guys. So uh, this is not a big deal, and I'm gonna explain why after we after I'm gonna read the headline because guys, I encourage you when y'all look at stuff, headlines are made to get you to click on it, but you all need to see the substance of the articles, whether that's game stuff, movie stuff, anime, news, politics. Y'all need to make sure y'all at least scan the article, dog, because it's all about getting people to click. So right now, there's an article that says Xbox boss Phil Spencer confirms first party exclusives will be cross gen for the next couple of years. So that is the, the more moderate headline. One of the first headlines I've seen said that Phil Spencer said Xbox, the new Xbox is not going to have any Xbox exclusive. So I said, well, that doesn't sound right. So I, I looked at the article and in doing so, I realized what they mean is that they're going to have exclusives. They're just going to be playable on the current Xbox. They're not going to have any Xbox Series X exclusives that are only playable on that console. So they're saying oh. for at least two years, any exclusives will be playable on both Xbox One and Xbox Series X. Now, what they're probably going to do is make it for Series X. What I hope they do is make it for Series X and then port it backwards but I hope they don't make it for Xbox One and port it forward, because then that's just ass. Uh, you know, you know, we do get new consoles to play the, you know, the best versions or games that are only available on that. But I, that doesn't surprise me. Are you guys surprised? I'm not surprised by that. Guys. Hello. Ricky. Off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm My playing. Bad. I dare. I got. I got lost in the sauce, bro. I, I was reading something. No, I didn't get lost. I was looking at. I was wondering to myself, like, wait a minute. Microsoft is letting me use my old controllers on their new console and my new controls on their old console. Just the thought of controllers give me brain damage. Gotta continue. So you don't have any. You know, is that a concern? Does that? Is that, yeah, a, is that a deal breaker? When I, yeah, Why? like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have, and it sucks that I'm gonna say this, and I don't mean to offend anyone in the comment section. He's going to though. 
Yeah. When the a... Xbox Series <laughs> X and the PS5 comes out, if you ain't on board, not talking about your financial issue, no. But if you complain about why this game ain't dropping on on your last gen, I mean, that ain't my fucking problem. I ain't trying to, man. Fuck that. You better save your money up. You better do something. That's Cause tough. I ain't trying to. I, 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 you think I'm? You think I'm trying to play Watch Dogs on PS3? That shit was ass. And what happened? Ended up being garbage on PS4. It Fuck was not that. garbage, man. That game was all right. So in ninety degree weather in that game, he has a trench coat. Nobody in that godforsaken world Bro. wore a fucking coat. Well, Everybody had a yeah. damn jacket. Well, yeah. Nigga came out. Nigga came out of the water. <laughs> so I'm sorry to say this, but the same people in the chat that want to be dry. like, "Yo, dude, he looked in the fucking reflection and been high, and behind him was Far Cry Primal." Yo, and man, and the cameraman just stopped wearing shorts at snow games. <laughs> like, <bro>. Yeah. <laughs> yo, I, I'm going to put it like this. No offense, but some people in the chat be complaining like, yo, when we going to get these games, these new games. Oh, fuck. They don't buy them. Y'all either don't buy them or don't understand the pain of waiting and buying these $500 consoles to be playing some last gen shit. Again, if I have to repeat, play Call of Duty Ghost. Play Battlefield 4, play Assassin's Creed Black Flag. All them shits came out for last. I'm trying to play some new shit. So I'm sorry. Either you can go ahead and sell your console or play the previous game. That's the other That's thing it. about um, backwards compatibility. Now everybody can sell their consoles towards the next one. It ain't like yeah, last man. gen when you had to keep it because you knew there wasn't going to be a lot of games. Um, I, yo, some of ourselves really do be in the field with these games. I know, I know Jay Ransom, he really be out here in the field. I be seeing cool Jags out there. You know, so Somebody's cool definitely putting me on, yo. I be, I be like, wait, what's that? Yeah. They put me on the mad games. Yeah, yeah. They definitely be putting me on as well. I know how Def be out there in the field. Um, you know what I mean? So, I look, see y'all. Not to offend nobody, but like, think about it. Y'all want, do we really want to go through what we went through this gen, bro? We really got... Like, and, I, and I always quote King, um, King Dubs. Yo, shout out to King Dub. I just talked to him the other day. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he, he's doing good. He's doing yeah. his thing. One one thing that he stated was we wasn't going to see official PS4 and Xbox One games until like three, four years in. So like, I, I, I want to make sure that they're already making games for that current gen, which we're not going to see that in the first quarter, the first year or two. But like, no, porting these games made it very bad for a lot of games. Look at... Do y'all remember Batman Arkham Knight? No, that game, that game was just, it, it just wasn't ready to be released. That game came out, see, I'm glad you mentioned that. See, it's, it's games like that are the reason why I say this gen was garbage. Now, I'm not saying there was no broken games on PS3 and Xbox 360, but I, I don't feel that we got a game, well, Battlefield 3, that, that shit, that, that, no, that there, that game was fucked. Battlefield 4, 4, 4. It was 4, I'm sorry. Battlefield 4, 4 PS3, that game, that game was fucked. fucked. Outside of that, though, I don't remember getting a whole lot of the ba the Batman Arkham Knight experience. Bro. I do remember Call of Duty never working on day one, though. Everybody being salty the first night. Porting issues with Arkham Knight, how the PS4 version looked better than the PC version. The PC version in reverse, they accidentally had the ultra settings was their low settings. <laughs> and they refunded everyone back their money on Steam and, and then made the game unavailable to purchase on PC for three weeks. Like, because of porting issues, because they wanted to support last gen. Like, no, oh, that's it. Bad mobile simulator. I liked Arkham Knight. Uh, Arkham Knight wasn't a bad game, was, but their ending boss fight was garbage. That's it. It, was, it wasn't. It wasn't. Well, Arkham City is the, the the best to me out of that out of that that four piece. Um, I, you, I, I do think that the tank gameplay was was overwhelming the rest of the the Batman experience, honestly. Um, but uh. What else? Do I, I think that might have been it for, for Xbox news. Oh, did anybody see the DualSense 5 uh, hands-on shit? That shit was fucking ass. <laughs> that shit I didn't was see ass. Yo. Bro, and his mic... I, I don't... You know, anybody that's seen Jeff Keighley... I like Jeff. Jeff's cool. If anybody's seen that video, I don't know if maybe I like my, my headphones weren't plugged all the way in, but, like, it might have just been me. So, if it was just me, let me know. 
But when I was watching that, his fucking mic was ass, yo. His mic was so fucking ass, yo. His mic was like my Galaxy Buzz when I come in at Discord, bro. That <laughs> and my left ear enjoyed this, bro. That shit was fucking ass. I didn't learn anything new about the controller that I didn't already know either. Hey, yo, I'm going to keep it a team. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a 100. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> you going to sleep? Well, shit, we only got yeah, two I'm more things. Matter of fact, we're going to talk about ghosts anyway. Uh, if you, if, if you about to dip out? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that sounds like when I come in with my galaxy. Duh, that shit is funny. Bro, his, that shit, his mic, I'm watching it. Because you know how we got to yell at each other like, yo, your mic is ass. His mic, was, I wanted to talk to him. His mic was fucking ass, yo. And he kept talking about the the the, the, the um the trigger sensor. I mean, I, what, I didn't, bro. I, you Like in the game he was playing was like, it comes, it comes with the PS5. So you know it's ass. That shit is ass. Yeah. I forgot they even it. did that shit. I remember them talking about it, but I was like, they had a whole conference just for that shit. That it shit was, it wasn't even a con. It was, it was like the, it was like, it was like me. They gave me the controller, and I just did a YouTube video. But I did it with one of the mics that we used in 2011, like, and it was just ass. It, it, look, it was like, it looked like that shit looked like a tiny chat live stream. It, his, his audio, That's the quality right was there is why they need to bring back G14. Oh man, we ain't never shit like he, that. Yo, he be looking cracked out too. His Ooh. eyes be like all the time. I, hey, yo, Jeff, I ain't, that was all Ricky. Hey, Jeff Afredo. That's all Ricky, bro. He be like this. The Dual Sense 5. Dual Sense 5. You looking like he on crack. Hey, yo, you know I'm what? looking at it right now. I need a new controller. I guess. Oh, no, he be like this. Dual Sense 5. Fun. <laughs> like, he be looking crack the fuck yo. out. I think I might be really hard on controllers, by the way. I don't like, there's people in the, in the comments that say, yo, I've had my PS4 controller since, since uh, 2013. I'm like, how? Like, I've, <laughs> my PlayStation analogs on that first controller came off. Remember PS3 analogs, bro? Shit was ass. Yo, everybody had a controller on a PS3 where one of the, the rubbers was off and you had to play mad. And every time you hit stuck somebody, your finger would bleed, bro. You know you're what? Right, right. You well. ain't lying. Because, like, <laughs> I, I don't really know nobody that still has. Like, I don't even believe niggas when they say they have the original PS4 controller no, that they got when it came no out. Way. I don't believe it. Now, I will say that I definitely still have my original Xbox 360. Oh, yeah, those controllers. That's the, the, best, only, that's reason, the go only reason why I got a new one is because I bought the Gears of War system. But I still had that muscle. Can I be honest? My my, my Xbox controller still work because there's no games on it. I was only oh, using it to roll through Game Pass. I ain't gonna lie, I was only on the hub on the Xbox One and Netflix. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. You remember when Jeff Keighley was like on stage talking about Kojima? He was like this. Yo, his eyes was all fucked up. He looked high as hell. They're gonna criticize mm -hmm. me. My controller's dusty. Let me wipe it off because you know how they get. Why oh, your controller dusty for? Who plays PS3? I feel like your I feel like your keyboard got hair and food particles in it. Oh, get that shit off the screen. <laughs> oh shit! You see, you see the analog? This is what I'm talking about right here. This has no rubber on it. it has no. This is just sitting on my shelf. I never use this. Yo, remember the PS1 controller had no balls? It's just crazy. No analog. <laughs> <laughs> be throwing controllers. You know what? I, I haven't, I haven't purpose. I, you know, I haven't broken the controller in a couple years. I'm not doing that no more. Cause when you, when you break, when you break a controller, yo, you immediately regret it. You immediately, cause just I say sixty dollars, man. Yo, Chad, hey, yo it do, it no do be looking like niggas be biting their controller. Oh, you got the PS One. <laughs> yeah, look, this shit got no balls in it. Like this shit, no nuts. Shit, it got neutered. <laughs> you got a new, yo, son, imagine playing with no balls. Just no, no, no they nothing. Say so. um, oh, oh, oh do, 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 do. I don't know. We're gonna take a trailer break, profit. If we take a trailer break, you can um, you can dip out if you need to. Yeah, I'm about to go to sleep, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> I, uh, got, I got to go to work. All right, man. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, guys. Hey, yo. Gonna, yeah. Shout out to the chat. Hey, yo. I'm gonna make an announcement. Shout out to my brody Rambo, the game of profit, whatever he wants to talk about, man. Uh, he just announced on Twitter that he, he's having a son. Oh, congratulations, congratulations my God. You know what I'm saying? To the Brody. Congrats, uh, his, name, his name is going to be Miles after, you know, Miles from Batman. Yeah, Spider-Man. Like oh, my God. Uh, 
But yeah, I'm out. Y'all right. be breezy. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna join the shit tomorrow. Um, so I, I'm gonna come to what y'all gonna be in uh, rookie Discord. Yeah, my Discord, brother. Yeah. All right, I'll be in that bitch tomorrow. All right, all right, bros. Be safe, man. bro. Hey, y'all be. Safe, man. All right. Guys, we'll give y'all a quick trailer. Real quick, chat. I'm naming my, my son Abby. Wow. Hey. Hold on, my son Abby. Cancel. So, I'm going to show y'all the Watch Dogs Legion trailer if you oh, missed Mr. it. Abby. A You really suck. To speak for me. Hater. Come on. Oh. Chat. My bad. <laughs> My fault. I had to. I used the bathroom. Y'all gonna have to deal with that. So this is what we gonna do. Rain, 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 rain. This is what we gonna do. Ricky, I'm gonna have you. Ah! What happened? That thunder was scary. Fuck, I, I closed Giazza. How do. You don't hear it? Nah. Open your eyes! Yo, you're, there's something seriously wrong with you. Alright, chat, real quick, we're gonna fit. We're gonna fit. I'm gonna go back to a two box setup. You know, you say you eat boxes. You say you eat two boxes at the same time. Okay. I eat two boxes. Are you messing with that stuff again? No, I don't do crack, bro. Did you take your meds? I'm not on. <laughs> I'm not on medicine, man. And I, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta stop saying that. No, you said that to me, and you had people ask me how's my mental. You had people ask me if I'm okay. And that really set a, a crazy precedent. You know, people really thought I was out here on crack. All I did was eat two edibles. But this shit right here different. You ate two edibles before we went live the one time. And you you were the no, worst. Like no, I ate a whole half a cheesecake. You were the worst 
possible version of yourself for to be a podcaster that day. You know that? You ate seven edibles before you came into a podcast, man. I'm professional. You're not professional. You went live with boxer briefs on in a bathrobe. Who you think you are, Estebano? I can be. No, you're not Esposito. Yeah, then you get the Escobar hey. Fold phone, bro. Are you buying that? <laughs> no. Yo, the Escobar Fold phone is nothing but a galaxy with paint on that with, with like gold foil on it, bro. He got out. They got out on everybody. Then they was on um, what's the name of that site where you can pay for people to do like? Oh, there's on Cameo. They went on Cameo. And, um, OnlyFans. No, nah, no, nah, Cameo, where you could get people to do a shout out. Like, people go on there, like, you might be on there. They got, like, EDP will say, yo, happy birthday to so-and-so, right? So the dudes that was selling the Escobar Fold went on there and got Chris Hansen to do, like, an ad placement. But all they did was go on Cameo and pay the, the couple dollars to get him on there. He ain't know what he was promoting. Hold on, chat. We almost we almost Gucci. Oh, all right. cool. Dad. Uh, what we Gucci, bro? You got me so ugly right now, man. I can't help how you look, brother. Um, let's get it. All right, chat. Um, it oh. is thunderstorming chase. I said, so why? So you focus on being scared of the thunderstorms, and I'm gonna read the donations that I missed because we got a lot of them. Why are you talking to me so crazy? Because I don't know how else to be in life, so I'm just gonna be the way I am. Oh, man, you. Eat a yeah. Shout out to Ghost Gone Black. PS now only put PS4 games on there. Now no PS3. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that, bro. Thank you. My name is Ty. Welcome back, bro. Superfly16. Y'all keep leaving out the Wii with the OG. Yeah, that's why I tried to clean that up a little bit when I was saying that, man. The Wii is the winner. People don't want to hear this, but as far as console sold, the Wii is the winner of the generation between PS2. I'm sorry. Between PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii. Be surprised how many units the we sold, man. Willie North, I ain't donated in a minute, just showing love. Thank you, Willie. I don't know if you're still here, but thank you for that thirty dollars. I appreciate that. Retro is Ghost of Tsushima harder than Neo or Ninja Gaiden? No, Fuck no. <laughs> not even close, bro. Hell no. Hell um, no. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to the to the good stuff very very shortly. We like, oh, we, we make a good time. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Kirch, Kirch, Kirk. It's Kirk. My brother, you know what I said? Thank you. Finally got enough money to donate. Been here since the PS3 controller has been from 8th grade. You're pre appreciate what you do. What y'all do, keep up the hard work. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that, man. Big shout out to you, bro. Thanks. Be more. What's up? Just want to ask if y'all are safe and opening the flower life properly. I'm safe as shit, bro. I was so happy that I didn't get COVID. I might have had it and been asymptomatic. My sister was here, and then she she had it a couple days later. We was not social distances up in the crib. We had Uber Eats that day. It was lit in here, and then she got that shit. Imagine waking up, and you can't taste or smell nothing, and, like, you got this breakfast I usually hit. It ain't going to hit that day. Tough. The way I'm going to taste shit, I'm going to... I might eat more ass if I can't take. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna touch these systems, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm a you don't hear that thunder, huh? You don't hear that thunder, yo? We don't live in the same area, brother. Look outside. You don't hear that thunder? No, oh, man. It's, it's the shore mic, bro. That shit filters everything. Tyrus, Skyrim crashed 14 times before I got the <laughs> before I got the work. See, Bethesda games and Activision games are disastrous. Yeah, they trash. Yeah, wow, you just did the pain full intro and shit. Grieving, thanks for the fat all donation. Kiana came through with the big fifty dollars. You got butt naked with that donation. Thank you, laid back Lesky. Thank you, Cooper. What's up, Coop? Can I get an untime out? Cool Jack sensitive. Yo, whoa. How do y'all? Can y'all untime out, Cooper? No, why are you trying to untime out, man? man? Ricky, that sounds so fucking bad that if you could take me to do that, I am going to wale you. You're not gonna wale me, man. <laughs> um uh uh so Ubisoft they had their whole like 
unfortunate sexist stuff leak out people quit got fired and all the above um a bunch of assassin creed games got changed or scrapped because they had female lead roles now we told y'all last week if y'all have a problem with playing with anybody except a male character you all probably are incels who hate women and you jack off to tentacle porn okay if you're one of those people you're the reasons why we get you know the typical lead characters in these games man and i'm not saying that we need to get too crazy with the leads but having a female lead there's some legendary iconic female lead characters bro so stay off the tentacle porn and quit being a weirdo for five fucking seconds Anyhow, there was a report on Ubisoft's history of internal abuse and sexism. They include allegations that plan for <clears throat> leading female characters were scrapped due to the perception that games won't sell without a strong male lead. Now, we have examples of games that sold very well with female leads. One of the names of the games is Tomb Raider. Another one is Horizon Zero Dawn. And another one is Resident Evil. So that's three games with female leads that, that have done well. But whatever. Um, Syndicate... Syndicate's a garbage game, by the way. Uh, it's, it's not it's not nearly on the level of the last two Assassin's Creed games. That game is butt. Um, they originally gave equal screen time to both the brother and sister, but they altered it to include Jacob Moore. Um, the original plans on Origins was to have Bayek get killed or incapacitated and have his wife be the lead, but they scrapped that idea. Because they was told, the devs were told it wasn't an option. And this is why we always tell you guys, a lot of our issues with games aren't on the devs. They just do what they're told as employees. They have a different vision. And then sometimes the, the suits come and say, hey, you're not doing this. And then that's how we end up with a lot of these issues. It's how we end up with games that aren't ready to come out. The devs are not pushing these games out. Um, and the Assassin's Creed Unity developer said, that playable female characters in the game weren't included because they were really a lot of extra production work. Thoughts? Hmm? About Ubisoft with... <clears throat> so when I read this article about them saying that women characters don't sell it reminds me of when i read the other article that they had got one of their big head honchos out of the paint because of all these allegations and how you know he the wrongdoings of like the ideas that some of these devs had with wanting to incorporate women i think it's bullshit when they say women don't sell games we have some real popular women um in in video games like horizon dawn as, as mentioned all the time um to be quite honest with you bro ubisoft oh excuse me with ubisoft i don't know what was their model when they used what was you said syndicate or unit or unity was the one that had the brother and sister syndicate syndicate now remember what happened in that game the story didn't really make sense to me as far as like their bond and their relationship with their father well they never they just kept talking about it it just always talked about it. you never really like relived or any kind of flashback with that um as far as what they're doing with valhalla i don't mind but i also do care about the fact that we could have gotten more fresh content if they would have just stuck with cassandra or have like a female lead i think that perception of women characters not really making it a video game is bullshit i know you had said the same you're saying the it's, same thing as me but right. that's it's, this is this is something that we've been um, reiterating for like a long time now like we have tomb raider we have horizon zero dawn um unfortunately i can't even like really think of other women lead characters but i don't know what I'm, it is I'm gonna that give you a list in a second yeah i don't know what it is about female characters that make developers discouraged or why they wouldn't like hellblade had a lead female character that suffered from mental illness that game, was that, game. that game was excellent so um i was actually while the chat was saying i was paying attention i was looking at women characters in ps4 and xbox one to try to prove a point but um my thing isn't loading up but to be real i think that's something i'm hoping is going to change for the next gen i don't want to see the lack of women characters due to the fact that either a game won't sell or not because to, to portray a male to be just as masculine dude in a video game yet i would like to see some more women roles now that's the only reason why I would say I appreciate Abby in The Last of Us, because we've seen a different like version of how women are taken. 
But other than that, I don't know um, as far as Ubisoft situation goes, bro. I know they got rid of the dude because he didn't want developers and writers he might have stepped and down. creators. Yeah, he stepped down because um, there was a lot of allegations and it's almost like he was have, saying derogatory remarks about devs who wanted to use female that's, in games. And this, that's been going on for years, though. And here's the thing. Stuff ain't going to evolve if people don't... You got to start somewhere. That's with anything, right? So even if the first few games didn't do that well, eventually it'll become the standard and the norm. But what happens is people get so fixated on the way shit used to be in music and sports, especially baseball. Dude, baseball is, is, is the quintessential like thing that I think about whenever I, I like discuss stuff just not changing. Rules not changing, errors like basically the mentality being the same. Um, and there's a reason why the average baseball fan is 56 years old. Uh, you know, stuff needs to be able to evolve, and, and, and it's not always about how stuff used to be. Like, people need to allow for, for change, and you can't do that if people are not willing to make the first step. Uh, I don't need them. At the same time, I don't need to be force-fed shit. Make stuff make sense. If you got a female lead, and here's the other thing. A lot of the times where people could create their own character, they create females, especially in multiplayer settings. People run around with female characters and stuff. Like, I don't know who all the weirdos are who hate women, because I don't feel like a lot of them are in our chat. Um, but like some of the female leads in games, obviously I said Resident Evil 3, um, we have, uh, Mirror's Edge, uh, Resident Evil 2, um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is part of the article, they initially only was going to use Cassandra, but they felt, they were told that they needed to have a playable male, so they added the option to play as her brother. Um, Ellie, and people love Clementine, she's, she's the, you know, the lead, the lead character, in uh, the, the the most recent Walking Dead, you obviously have Laura Croft. You have uh, uh, Samus. Is it Samus or Sheamus? Nintendo fans, how do you pronounce Metroid's name? I know they're gonna I kill me. I thought it was Samus. 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 Okay. Um, you have you have lead characters. Where else? Uh, Bayonetta. People love Bayonetta. Alien Isolation. I thought was really good. I mean, there's plenty of games. Hellblade. You mentioned that Horizon Zero Dawn. We have leads, you know what I mean? Just don't force feed the shit. Samus, okay. Um, elite, you know what I mean? Okay, so anyhow, uh, NH NHL, I don't know how many NHL fans we got in here. Um, there's no next gen versions coming. I'm sorry, guys. It's coming out in October. Uh, EA said we won't offer next gen versions of the game, although it will be compatible with Xbox Series X and PS5. Uh, we had to make major adjustments in developing the game from home. This transition has been successful and we're happy that the game is on track and feature complete against our original vision. Okay. Um, that's things will be riddled with them. Thanks. They're going to rip that game with them. Thanks. Uh, fucking garbage, bro. Oh yeah. I could not stand Alexio's voice. I thought he was trolling. I could, I could do his voice right now. And, and you, people would think I was joking. He sounded like the cookie monster. Fucking ass. Uh, any, anybody concerned, concerned, um, logic is he's retired from rap and he is a Twitch streamer. They signed that man. to apparently a seven figure deal. God damn. That's what it says on this article. Uh, I don't know if that amount is, is, uh, real or not. It probably is. Cause you know, Twitch and, and these other dudes be dropping them bags off. All right. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get to the good stuff. Ghost on, of... Right, you know, wait, wait. Before you say that, yeah, yeah. there was update on... on um, <clears throat> What's his name? Dr. Disrespect 2. So okay. he's looking to take legal action against Twitch because they didn't tell him why he got banned. So they just banned him. But, yeah, they, he said that he was told some news earlier that day and they just never told him anything. So now he's, he's going... Uh, he's going to act accordingly. That's why he says he hasn't been on social media because at this point... When you're not told why you've been banned and why things happen the way they have been orchestrated or whatever, he said the best course of action is just to make sure that his legal team makes sure they keep records that he acted, he was cooperating with this whole situation, didn't make any slick comments, didn't say anything. Hey, so what it looks like it has nothing to do with the sexual harassment things on Twitch. They just got him up out of here um, <clears throat> and didn't say anything. So that's another interesting thing. So you mentioning Logic got a seven figure deal one of the biggest people 
on Twitch got removed and it seems to be that he is publicly saying he doesn't have any idea why that Twitch never responded to him or wrote to him never said anything in that as he was on someone's stream showing them love while he was live his permissions started getting removed little by little and that's when he realized like oh shit and so that's when he made that final thing and left so yeah we could continue though that's Twitch tough. man yeah um moving on Ghost of Tsushima man well before we talk about our thoughts on the game um, there's leaked footage of Sucker Punch's original game that they were working on. It's called Prophecy. It got canceled um, for Ghost of Tsushima. It looked really good, by the way. The whole idea, it had a different main character. It was a totally different game. Ricky, do you want to give them more information? I know you watched the actual footage. You want to? Basically, uh, I when I was watching, I was skimming through because I was actually live as well. So from what I saw, it seems to be this gentleman in like this medieval era with abilities and again i'm just as fresh with it as you because i didn't get a chance to rewatch it again with the actual audio but this shit look fire it looks like why was this game canceled like why did they cancel it like when it looks like ghost of tsushima it looked like a, a third person um open world game story driven and he had like these abilities that i told you guys months ago I seen a trailer surface on Ghost of Tsushima. It was one of those like reveal trailers, but it didn't show, it didn't show Jin, the main character. It just showed somebody with their arm throwing fire out of their arm. It was like three years ago. And all of a sudden that got scrapped and, and was told that they changed Ghost of Tsushima to become a more realistic game. They didn't want it to have any kind of misleading abilities and shit like that. Like on some like Prince of Persia got a war shit. They come to find out, I see this gameplay here that was supposedly cut and I see that they had that exact ability. So now I'm wondering if that was the game I saw or not. But that game looked good. Again, I'm just as fresh as you are with that. I wasn't able, I didn't go back to the gameplay. Um, that link got removed. So I wasn't able to see the rest of it. But I think somebody on YouTube has it uploaded. So I should have got, I should have watched it. But yo, from what we saw, that little, that glimpse, and it's 11 minutes. That gameplay looked good. Like, I, why cancel that? Um, I, I, I would have loved to play that. I'm not saying it, it would have been better than Ghost. It's just it looks like a good game. And they only this is only their second game this gen. So yeah, but you know what it's telling me? Why? What is happening that they are just that they cancel games like that doesn't look like a game in concept. That look, yo, you seen it. Like mm -hmm. it looks like it got its voice acting. It had the abilities, the sounds, the graphics look great as shit. Like, how you have a team cancel a game like that to start on a whole new project, yo? We don't know. And, and uh, shout out to B-More. Yeah, everybody make sure y'all like the stream for me, man. Do me a, do me a favor, please. Uh, get out of here, man. Uh, sometimes I wonder if they start a game, realize that the technology is not where they want it for that vision. So they either put it on hold or they cancel it. Um, you know, maybe... Maybe, you know, the suits come in and say, hey, we don't think this is the idea. Go with the other one. Well, there's no way to know what they were doing because that it looked like there was a lot of stuff done with that footage. Um, you know, it looked like, uh, you know, it looked like they did all the mechanics and everything. But I don't know how, how much they actually did with that. That shit looked good. Like good. You look really good. All right. Yo. Now, now for the for the good shit. I, I want to express something. All right, nothing is without flaws, okay? So if y'all hear me or Ricky or anybody in the chat who's played the game talk about some of the stuff that is not good about the game, that does not mean the game is not good or great because I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I got that bro, shout out to you, thanks for that $10. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the game Ghost of Tsushima is fucking amazing. Okay, it is amazing. I don't give out scores. I don't do that. All right. I just literally tell y'all if stuff is, um, what do, what do we say? Like GMG approved. There's only been about six games in the last seven years that, that, that we've done that with. One was South Park, God of War, uh, Horizon, I say Persona always, um, 
I say Red Dead 2. There's a couple other ones. This shit here, they got one. All right. There's no spoilers. No spoilers, Ricky. No spoilers. I'm, I'm not going. All I'm going to tell y'all is the story so far is really well done. This The scenery. They fucking nailed the scenery. Dude, the, the, the music is perfect. Um, I, I really love the combat. They have multiple skill trees. They have, what do, you, what do they have? Like five or six skill trees? You got, they got five or six skill trees, including yeah. like samurai, ghost. And then your stances, up. your sword stances. Mm -hmm. And then like you have, you said ghost already. Um, they have all these different customizable clothes. Now, the clothes do stuff on here because they have different abilities or bonuses. But even if they didn't, even if the stuff we wore did nothing, I would still enjoy it because I like changing the look of my character. Everybody should know how fun it is to change the look of your character after what Fortnite brought to the table. The Fortnite skins do nothing to help you. Well, unless there's something I don't know about. There might be. But generally, people just like to change up the look of their character. Um... The cinematics are spot on from the beginning of the game. We always talk about the pacing of the game. I've played good games that a lot of people think are ass, and I believe wholeheartedly that the reason is because the pacing sucks. A game that I will say an example of that is, is Days Gone. I enjoyed Days Gone, but it took 30 hours to get to the good stuff. Most gamers are not going to wait that long. If they had days gone with the pace that they had once you got to the third camp throughout, it would have got more praise. The game was also buggy and glitchy, but so is Ghost of Tsushima. So the pacing is good. Um, so I'm going to let Ricky hop in and you do yours, and then we'll, we'll just get into specifics. We'll let people ask questions and all that type of stuff. Go ahead. You, you give your thoughts, your, your quick thoughts. Well, you ain't got to be quick, but no spoilers. All right. Well, just the, the gist of it. Um, First off, I'll say, like, <clears throat> I've been fatigued with open world games, you know, like this gen. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when you design an open world game, I would say that I wouldn't say they set the standard. I'd say the way they designed and constructed that world is something I can that I'm pleased with when playing like an open world game, especially like Ghost of Tsushima. So you have, you know, at first when I was first, like introduced to the game, I thought like, damn, it's only square. You know, and triangle with your abilities and stuff like that, because it was very bare bones that very first mission. And as soon as you like get past that, you open up to just more and more and more and more. And I was just like, oh snap! So that kind of kept the game fresh. What was crazy enough was that you know you can always bring out anything cosmetic to a game, and you can grind for it. But then what makes that even more fun is that each piece of gear adds a level of customization each piece of gear added an ability too so now you're more you're more uh how would you say it chase like you're more inclined to want to like work on side missions they yes, actually yes. they made the side missions enjoyable there's cutscenes with side missions they 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 instead of it being like how i i felt like side missions and god of war did a, re a really good job I felt like for Ghost of Tsushima, it's better. their side missions were better. They're better. I think the even with when, when I play side missions in games, I always felt like side missions were sometimes forced in order to get certain things to proceed in the game. Whereas in this case, I realized how much fun I had playing a side mission and learning more information. You acquired some really dope gear. You probably acquired some rarities, which may have helped in, enhance like your outfit and your ability. And then all of a sudden you start unlocking these skill trees and you start wondering what you want to do first. Do you want to kind of like customize the ghost aspect of your character, the samurai? Do you want to, um, um, the defense, like everything about the character customization and that aspect is actually amazing to me. Then you have the grinding and farming aspect of Ghost of Tsushima. So for me, the open world aspect, collecting all these items around the world to kind of trade off and do upgrades with merchants and everything in that game makes it fun as well. Because again, it's not too difficult, but there's a right balance. You encounter different enemies along the way. It's a big, beautiful world. And then as you're progressing, you notice you're 10 hours in and I ain't even do two, three missions yet of the main story. I have 40 hours played on that together. game. Almost 40 hours. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I'm already 20, 26 something hours. I've only did three story missions. I realized that after you do main missions, 
a lot of the side missions that open up actually do make sense with the story so like as you're trying to recruit whatever you're doing in the game it does the side missions do pertain to it you go up against some enemies you take over territories it's just a lot of fun that's going on in that game i'm having a lot of fun playing with a certain fighting style they got like and that's another thing you got customization with like how you can play if you want to play more stealth like if you want to play more um on the attacking end if you want to be more of a defensive fighter and then you got the fighting stances that were introduced and that four, shit threw me four off stances. four different stances to fight which are important because it's not just four stances each stance allows you to go up against certain enemies and kind of like help one another so like there's one that can go up against enemies with shields there's one that can go up against enemies with bows like there's a different stance for it all very authentic to, to, to the culture to um so which we call to the culture i think the music in the game too is phenomenal we as a collective the whole cell squad we have never used an actual photo mode as much as we've tried it in this game like this game is beautiful to the t and again this game is not perfect i've encountered a lot of issues like the way the camera hits the corners i'm not a real big fan of that because while i'm going up against certain enemies you notice certain enemies move a certain way and the camera angle hits kind of different and then like you know if you're playing it on hard you got to really time your parrying right um you have a perfect parry you can have just on just about on time where you're just able to block so there's some issues there there's some issues where you look kind of goofy jumping and getting on ladders and climbing they got some issues there too um yeah and i ain't gonna lie to you yo khalil yo graves i ain't gonna lie to you that that, that sun hit different and ghosts like i'm telling you that scenery is beautiful um the issues that they do have in the game are some that are extremely noticeable are we okay with it i mean it's tolerable because why the game is extremely fun like i'm having a lot of fun with it that's not to say that even on hard i'm noticing that still ai is lacking if i'm fighting one dude why is the other two dudes backing off like there's a lot of shit that i've noticed I think Chase, you've noticed more probably. Oh, I'm gonna Maybe get I'm to that. So you done, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get to all the stuff. Okay. So, again, there's items where I know there, there is some key items in the game which is worth grinding, like silk. All of us have been going through it, collecting silk to upgrade, but it makes the upgrade worth it. You know, there's games like Bloodborne, Dark Souls, um, Dark Siders. All those games have a farm feature, and in this game, the side missions kind of bring that farm feature back because all i'm doing is traveling around the world um traveling all around the world of um komodo who, and whatever in the territory and keep in mind all those hours we've spent chase spent 40 hours i've spent 26 hours in that world in the first part of the map yep. then the shit gets gritty when you hit the second part and then it gets even more gritty when you hit to the third part of the map so i thought content it, it content gotta end somewhere right content no it doesn't it gets even more raw they give you so stuff like, the whole game they make sure you get upgrades that you get through the entire game yeah no no I'll, and i would like for you to go now because you're, you're since you're past so, me yeah okay so one of the things that's very important is when you have a game where you have a powerful character it's very important for you to distribute skills evenly throughout which you don't do at the beginning of a game or halfway through is have the person have pretty much all the stuff, all the tech, all the skills are going to have through the rest of the game. I want to feel like I'm always going to have opportunities to get new stuff. So far, I've, I keep getting new stuff and learning new shit. Now, um, and I want you guys to notice the difference between the way we're talking about this and the way we were talking about The Last of Us 2, okay? So it's, a, it's, it's a completely different demeanor and tone when it comes to talking about our experience with the game. Now y'all know me, I'm a grinder. It's nothing to me to play side quests and stuff like that. I usually spend a lot of hours doing side quests um, to get ready for YouTube videos and to actually practice the mechanics of the game. That's one benefit that I get from games that have side quests is that I can actually practice. When it's linear, I don't really feel like I get to do that. You know, I'm recording the whole experience for y'all, so I don't really get to practice. But when there's side quests, I can practice. I don't generally show side quests, but on this games, on this game, on this game, this, this what the fuck is this be? Um, the side quests are really, they're voice acted, full voice acted, fully voice acted, full cutscenes. Other examples of games that have fantastic side quests: GTA 5, The Witcher, Assassin's Creed Origins, and Odyssey. 
they have their own mini story. Like you actually care about the supporting characters in the side quest. They even had a guy that's funny. His name is Kenji. I did his side quest today. I actually care about a lot of these people because a lot of the stuff that happened to these individuals happened within your storyline, but they have their own stuff going on. So I'm sitting up here recording the side quest and I don't even know if people that are watching all know that they're side quests. You can just play through the story and get done quickly. I always, you've heard, you guys have heard me talk about what I call busy work in open world games. And the older Assassin's Creed games and Far Cry games, um, some of those gave you what I just call busy work. Literally, you go here, you do this thing that they want you to do. Climb this radio tower, do all this stuff. And I don't really feel like the reward is worth the effort. So that's when a lot of people, they skip all that stuff. On this game, they made the fast travel so convenient. I'm going to say it again. Red Dead Redemption 2 has the worst fast travel system that I've ever experienced. It's fucking garbage. I love the game. Okay, one of the best games I've ever played. The fast travel is fucking garbage. You can only fast travel outbound from your safe house or your community. But you can't do inbound back to that. Then you have, like, you it's it's you, you can't just go where you want to go. On Ghost of Tsushima, if I go somewhere and I find a hat or a headband, you get a fast travel marker to go anywhere you've already visited as soon as you get near it. Shrines, all this stuff. They added platforming and all that. All this shit is good, okay? The combat. Now, people are asking if the combat is as good as Sekiro and all that. Fuck no, okay? Like Sekiro, Dark Souls, and those kinds of games, those are like, that's just a different level, but they don't have the story and the cinematics that Ghost of Tsushima has. We love all the combat upgrades. You, you can choose different play styles. And one thing that we didn't touch on yet was like the the um, the navigation, right? Now, generally, I would say, yo, there's no mini map. What the fuck are they doing? But on this game, I've not been bothered by the fact that there's no mini map. You have a if you push start, you get to the big map. But you know, y'all know like if you want to go somewhere, if you set a marker, the wind will guide you. Literally, the wind will take you, it'll show you where you need to go. And if that's not enough for you, when you push start, you can see particles that um, show you where you need to go. That's the wind in the pause menu. So if you, you if just you, swipe up on your D-pad too to can, activate yeah, the you wind can activate again. the wind. You can change the weather by playing your flute. Now that's not original, that was in Ocarina of Time, but I've not seen that in a game in quite some time. So if you want it to be sunny weather, if you want it to be foggy, if you want it to rain a lot, you can play, bring your flute out and play it and it'll change the weather for you uh, right there on the spot. Um, and then they have like this, this bird that pops up that'll help you find secrets and stuff. The bird pops up and then you follow it and it'll lead you places. They have all that type of shit. All this, it's, it's a really good game. The voice actors did a fantastic job. The villain is great. The main villain is that's always important on your game. All that shit is good, okay? Now, we've praised the game plenty. Now it's time for me to talk about the stuff that is really bad. Ricky mentioned the camera. I can't wait, lie to the camera. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, go you, know you know who's the birds in the wind, right? Well, you you go ahead and tell them, because Carter told me. Okay, so you don't mind. Okay, so. Well, is it a spoiler, though? Let's go. let's not let's go, not let's go not. go yeah. go go yeah, go. We've been, we've been pretty go. good. Um, all right. Uh, here's the stuff that's bad. The camera sucks ass. Okay. The fox. Um, the camera, dude. You'll be fighting people outside of a hut. The camera will turn, and you'll see the inside of the hut, and you won't be able to see your guy fighting. There's no target system, so you can't lock on people. I know some people feel like it's not an issue, but I've never played a game with open combat. You know, with the, you know, the Devil May Cries, the Batmans, the Shadow of Mordor, the Bayonettas, the Kingdom Hearts. All these games have a target lock-on system. The purpose of the target lock-on system is to, to get the camera to follow you so you don't have to manually turn it, right? They don't have that. You can't lock on the people and it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes because you'll get hit by people who you can't even fucking see. Um, the computer has a ridiculous lunge, lunge range. They magnetize to you. Uh... So that, you know, that could use kind of a patch. Uh, the platforming is super clunky. They don't have a climb down button on your fucking game. If you go to the edge of a cliff or a ladder, the, your character 
It's the little things that they missed. On Assassin's Creed, which this game had a lot of inspiration from, if you want to go down a cliff, you walk to the edge, you push B or circle, and your character drops down and grabs the ledge, and then you can start your platform. They don't fucking have that on here. So you'll be standing on a ledge, and your character won't fucking move. That's ass. Um, the platform is all around buggy. Your character is automatically supposed to jump on certain platforms for you. Sometimes he won't do it. He'll stand there. You'll have to manually jump. Sometimes he'll jump on his own, and you'll fall to your death. So that's really bad. Um, the grapple hook has a learning curve that's really strange. Uh, what else? Um, you can't skip cutscenes. So if you did something and for whatever reason you need to redo it, you have to watch the cutscene. Um, what I do like is that uh, the looting doesn't have a five second animation. It's instant like Fallout. I don't need my guy reaching down and patting down the enemy and getting the item and reaching down and patting down. And I don't feel like dealing with all that. So you tap R2, boom, it's in your inventory, you're good. You're done, you're good to go. Um, uh, one thing that's also a drawback is the R2 button does too many things. It opens chests, it opens doors, uh, it does, it, you'll, you'll mean to do one thing and R2 will do something else. You'll accidentally like open the door when you don't want to and shit. Um, it, it does too many things. I had that problem with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, what else? Um, is that it? Oh, uh, it might just be me. Okay. But I think the pairing timing is weird. On other games that are much harder, I've not had this much difficulty parrying as I do on this game. I don't know if it's just something I'm doing. I don't know if maybe I need to be wired and plug my controller in, but I feel like the timing is just strange. Now y'all see me play Sekiro the whole game, and I was you, you if you can't parry on there, you just might as well not even play that shit. So I know how to time a parry. I, you know, I've done it on all these games, but on this game, man, it's really weird, especially with the spear people. I might just be bugging the fuck out. I don't know if it's something I'm doing. I don't know if it's my PlayStation Pro. I don't know what it is, bro. Uh, I might just suck ass, legitimately. Yeah, it might. I'm not. It might just be me, but I feel like there's something strange going on. I am playing on hard. I don't know if that matters. I even put on a charm. There's a charm that you can put on for perfect dodge and perfect parry. And it, I'm still not doing it the way I want to do it. So it should, it might just be me. Um, but outside of that, the game could stand to use a patch. At this point, half the community is cheating. It's a lot easier to jump when they do unblockables than to uh, dodge. Um, and then I, I, I wish they would let us turn some of the, the upgrades off. Uh, the dodge roll is sometimes counterintuitive. And I wish I could turn it off sometimes. Because when you do that roll, it takes you out of the range of combat and sometimes you just want to sidestep but you end up rolling maybe a fat finger or whatever um takes me completely out of combat to the point where it kind of throws my engagement away with how i fight certain enemies i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit too exaggerating the way you slide mm. or the way you might uh dodge them i haven't really had an issue with the pairing i can admit that i just suck yeah i, like, I, I, I might just be really bad time it. yeah because this they actually have like two or three different types of pairing one of them you could parry and then get right behind them. One of them actually hits them and then stabs them as well. They got like a different system. And the only thing I can say that kind of messes it up is that there's so many button controls in that game. Oh, so dude. like I feel, I feel like it fucks with when you're trying to parry. I feel like, oh, shit, another feature or mechanic is being triggered at the same time. And that's why I'm feeling like maybe my parries are being like a little bit like they're not being used right. So I'm kind of confused with that. The spare people are insanely annoying. I don't know why I can't parry the spare people. I have the upgrade, by the way. There's an upgrade that lets you auto parry the spare people as long as you're in the stance. But it, it still doesn't trigger sometimes. That's why I feel like there's something going on in the game I need. Uh, it does need a, a patch for a couple things. I might just be tripping, but it's like he won't auto parry even though he's supposed to sometimes. Um... And there are some funny things. There, there's, there's a lot of buttons. A game like this would benefit for keyboard users if it was on PC because there's so many fucking buttons on here. Um, and you know, I've done silly things. I've accidentally caught my horse when I meant to um, 
try to bring out my gadgets just to throw a wind chime or I hit my like horse that. man with a knife with a sword yeah and I do feel like switching stances isn't as fluid as it should be uh, I, I forgot what game it is I think it was Neo there's a combo that you could do that switches stances for you at the end this game would have benefited from something like that sometimes I feel like uh, when I you know do the, the R2 and the button that it doesn't do it right away or sometimes I don't maybe I'm not timing it right and I have to end up doing it again um, and there's other times where like I think I, I, I drew my arrow and I'm in slow mode and I haven't. Oh my god, dude. And now you're just fucking standing there like an idiot and then he, the, um, the, the archer shoots you or whatever. Uh, Yo, them dudes with the bow? Yeah. Doja! Yeah. They're vicious, bro. They you don't gotta, fucking miss. You gotta kill them first. And they, they, get, they cheat, though. They get a triple arrow move that we can't get. They be okay. cheating, bro. It's not auto parry. You have to press heavy attack with the spare dudes. You tested it? Okay. Okay, I'll try that. Okay. You have to watch their wrist. The another guy had told me that when you see the white streak as they're swinging, that's when you get your parry. Uh, there is a way to get perfect parries every time. I'm going to tell everybody because we're going to get off here in a second. You're, we're going to play Halo. Mm -hmm. I, I got to finish re reinstalling mine. Um, if, you, if you go into um, slow mode and then you let them swing, you can hurry up and push L1 to get a perfect parry. You can cheat. Um, so you can do that. And the AI is not that bright. Honestly, I you can you can pretty much do a lot with those people. Sometimes they don't even react and shit like that. But I will say their peripheral vision crazy. They can see your motherfucker. They got fish eyes on that shit. But all in all, guys, highly recommend the game. Um, I may do a formal review on the game again. I haven't done one in a couple years. Um, I'm considering that, but I do recommend the game. Um, it is game of the year material. Uh, Hopefully the industry appreciates the game. Um, I, obviously, The Last of Us is still going to be nominated. It's been a pretty slow year because of the virus. So, you know, if you look at the games that came out, what do we have? We have uh, Resident Evil Remake. We have um, uh, Ori, um, Last of Us, Final Fantasy VII, Ghost. And then later on down the road, we get Cyberpunk and Assassin's Creed. Um, what the fuck is this beat? You get the Avengers and... and you know, yo, by the way, I want to let you know. Ghost of Tsushima outsold the shit. And this is this says a lot because we got we to gotta stop acting like Nintendo games don't be hitting. Mm -hmm. This outsold uh, Paper Mario. I'm not surprised the fans were disappointed from the Paper Mario reveal. Yeah, it, they were disappointed. However, it outsold Paper Mario. Then I think it had 2.5 million... Uh, I don't know if it was, they sold like almost 3 million within three days. Mm -hmm. that, that's not bad for a brand new IP. Again, we got to remember there's two things that go on in this culture. And that's one, that new IPs will, won't sell well. Yep. And two, that it's going to be hard for new IPs to really sell well against other big titles. And that is completely false in the fact that we don't need story games. <clears throat> the game sold more than I forgot how many games they put on the list. That, that were multi-plat on his first on his first launch on his launch day on both consoles playstation xbox the switch whatever any game that kind of came out as of recent and last year um that were multi-plat it showed the stats that this game show, sold um three million compared to what those multi-plat games sold so that really says a lot i think that kind of um in my opinion allows me to like believe that sony or even microsoft themselves will push for more like brand new IPs and not feel like discouraged. We have to we have to go out and buy the new games. If we don't buy things, they're not going to put them out. We're going to get God of War 15 and Horizon 65. If we don't go out and buy new games, that's all we're going to get. I love God of War. Uh, Xbox people really like Forza, so they should continue to put those out. But we got to go out and buy new games, bro. We're not going to get them if we don't. So, you know, when that when that new Crash Bandicoot comes out, you all have to get them. I mean, you don't have to do shit, but a lot of people should go out and support that if you want that to continue. Because, um, you know, this is the, the games like this, like Ricky said, remind the industry that people do care about, um, you know, single player games. And there's no microtransactions and we shouldn't have to say that, but it is a plus. Um, 
But uh, yeah. All right. So look real quick. It yeah. says some of the multiplats that this game beats were first week sales in the UK, and it's all physical. So Ghost Tsushima sold 75k physical. Which look at the current times that we in compared to the Division Two, Mortal Kombat 11, Resident Evil 2 remake, on, Monster bro. Hunter World. Like these are still big Monster games. Monster Hunter is Capcom's biggest game to date. Now, it's that so now is that is that compared to their launch week or their yeah, current? No, it, it, it's saying to their launch week. Like these are these are popular games that won awards. So Monster Hunter World won awards and how popular it was, but it's still outsold within that um yeah. their launch week. But in three days, Ghost of Tsushima has over like at least I think uh, three million already sold. They're selling um, out of Japan. It's, this game has exceeded expectations in Japan. So. Um, oh yeah! Shout out to Jay Ransom. Don't brag, don't brag about exclusive and don't bat him. I've been preaching that for the, the last five years or so, man. Dudes, they, the, a lot of people that talk about exclusive don't bat him. If you don't buy exclusive, then you shouldn't talk about them. Period. You have no, you oh. have no business talking about it. Yo, one major ass thing in this game. I've it was so awkward to see, bro. I've never played a game because I I don't want to sound dumb. Japanese or Chinese culture doesn't matter any game that has like any kind of feature of that it was so awkward to have japanese dubbed with english subtitles yo the mouth it, it wasn't in sync i wasn't used to that you know why we're not used to it because Whoa. the last of us and, and games like that have some of the best like facial mechanics and and that you could possibly no, no, get. No, no, think about it like this, Chase. We, you know, like when you, you know, when we play our Japanese games, when we yeah. watch some Japanese, you know, some animes going, like some animes, right? Resident Evil had the you same know, the problem. Huh? You know, the I'm used, yeah. I'm used, to, you know, when I watch an anime, uh, the traditional where you get the English dub, you get the, you get the subtitles with the English behind the voice, but we, it's like it's, it's accepted. Like I understand. It was so weird seeing an English game, which they did a phenomenal job still at the, at, at the end of it. But seeing like how they dubbed it with the Japanese voice behind it, yo, I was like, yo, let me restart this game, bro. It was weird as fuck for me to kind of like get used to. Yeah. I said, I can't let this happen, man. Guys, I had to put it back to English. The game's also extremely buggy. We've I've seen some hilarious bugs. Uh, I, I get I've gotten a bug where you you go to examine foot tracks, and the, and then he doesn't say anything and it just sits there and you can't move. Oh yes, I had to yeah. move away. My horse was on top of one of the clues. We moved away. And then he he repeated his lines twice. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, shit sinking. Um, uh, shout out to I got that white, um, for the wow. donations. He said you be having my little cousin down when you rage. I appreciate that. I use uh Burt's bees, usually. Um, and Sean Lo Polo said game of the year, game of the year. I don't mind not being people's game of the year. Um. You know, especially what went on. The Final Fantasy VII is, is a very good game as well. But, guys, I think we're going to have to wrap it up. I appreciate everybody. I need everybody to like the stream. Um, we're going to be back next week. We didn't we didn't have any technical issues this week. So, shout out to Ricky for um, to you, bro. having me uh, oh. make some adjustments. We didn't drop any frames. I didn't go red or drop a single frame off stream, bro. We went on 0.0. Uh, wow. So, wow, bro. We good now. We back in business with this, bro. In business. So, guys, thumbs up. Mahalo, y'all. Ricky is about to stream. Ricky, spam your Twitch link in the description. If y'all are not following, Ricky is, would you say you're prior, primarily a Twitch guy at this point? Yeah, I'm primarily Twitch. I just yeah. need to stop being lazy and, and upload it all to YouTube, you know? Yeah, I did have that audio mute thing. That's on me, though. Um, but yeah, yeah. So, all right, uh, guys, we're going to holla at y'all um, next week. And I'll be in Ricky's stream. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right there. Uh, peace.